just fucking with a fucking club. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. What's going on, everybody? It's the Knucklehead Comics in the building. As you know, it's your boy, Toe Tags. We got Cat, we got Kaz, we got Lay in the building. Yo, dude, you guys excited? Tomorrow starts the first episode of I'm Moon Knight. I'm so fucking excited, bro. Oh, and, you my know, God. It's like, I'm hyped for this shit because I'm hearing a little bit about this character. I'm like, yo, this is a. This character's different. He got some shit going on over here. Shout out, and, shout out to the shout out to the Cubans. Shout out word, to the Cubans. Shout out, big shout out to the Cubans. My man Oscar Isaac holding it down for the Caribbean. Let's go. That's it. Shout, out, shout the, out to Guatemala too. Shout out to Guatemala. Word. And for all the Cubans. Hey yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got that in there. The real Cuban. That's right. The, <laughs> the real the, one. The only one you need to worry about. The only about. Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it. Before we yeah, start, I just gotta say. At the current moment, I'm trying to get up to 88 miles per hour. <laughs> I need to generate 1.21 gig gigawatts. Yeah. That's why it's important <laughs> to have that hair, bro. You see, I think it looks good. I used to I used to rock the the little fro like that, Aslet, all yeah. curled up and gelled. Yeah. So have it all pointy like that. You, yeah, yo, this is more of a like frown it. than a fro, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> At least you got hair, bro. I am about to, yo, son, I, I promise y'all. I got about maybe six months left before this is all gone. Look at that. Look at this whole this whole thing is gone, dude. Look at that. You uh, just have I, an island. That's fine. I haven't shaved in like a week and a half. My head. And you see, it looks like I'm freshly shaven. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to start doing that, bro. Like soon. I got like six months. That's why I wanna hit yeah. I wanna hit the gym. I'm gonna get fucking brolic. I'm gonna fucking grow the beard and I'm gonna shave the head. I'm gonna look like a straight Miami boy. That's I'm it, not yo. proud of that, but I'm gonna do it. I just wanna it. say, I just wanna say, I love you three. Can't wait to see you in GI Jane two. No, <laughs> no, I am, I am, I am aiming to be casted in The Last of Us season two. I'm gonna have to do uh, uh, the Mandalorian again, so I got the beard. <laughs> That I just are we gonna get, are we gonna are we gonna get into Will Smith for <laughs> nice. five minutes? Are we gonna do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, okay, no that, Fuck it. This this gotta be some kind of fucking Disney Disney episode. My man puts his business out in the street. I'm and... so glad. I'm so glad Mimi's here. By the way, okay. because Mimi, back in the December feast episode, I told you how I feel about the Smiths, <laughs> and 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 nothing has changed. I'm done. I unfollow Will Smith. Man, me too. I'm good. I'm so sick of it. I'm good. I don't care whose fault it is. Jada's, it's, Jada is the puppet master. Yeah, Will yeah. was legit laughing at that joke. And then Jada looked at him like, you keep going, I'm going to fuck Chris Rock. He was like, all right, all right, all right, I'll go slap him real quick. <laughs> and then you're going to yeah. cry later. Like, Will, if you was really about that life, you would have pulled up after. Like, yo, Chris. Dude, you know you know what's wrong with my wife, he bro. He and Chris would have and Chris would have been like, "Yo, they told me to they told me that, bro. None of that shit needed to happen." Will nope. thought he was gonna do that to look cool, and there's just more memes now. Yeah, like, bro, I'm I'm done with that entire family. I've been done with that entire family. Mimi, I'm glad you're here because you 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 know how that rant went. <laughs> Word, now yeah, for real, it. it... <laughs> He should have smacked August. If he would have smacked August, the kid that, that Jada was fucking on the side, then all right, yo, don't fucking talk about don't Jada because he's fucking everybody up. He's fucking everybody up that, that, that mentions Jada. So, you know, there's a precedent there. My man talked more shit about Uncle Phil's head and, and, and Carlton's height than Chris Rock said about Jada. But you're going to smack Chris Rock? Like, fuck out of here. Like, y'all work together. Yeah. Like, y'all like black kings in the game right now. These are two heavily big bodied names in the comic industry, in the comedian industry. Like imagine a comedian getting mad at a comedian for a dumb joke. And I get it. Oh, you know, fucking it's alopecia, bro. Bro, I yeah. get ripped on my hairline on the daily. And I ain't gonna lie, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It's a very sensitive subject, but it ain't that serious to get smacked up and shit. Look, look yeah. at Pro just Pro just said it. Remember when we talked about our hatred for Will Smith? We predicted the future. Bruh, I be calling this shit on this podcast, bruh. This ain't the first time I told you I'm done 
with that fucking family, bro. Fuck all of them. Word. It hurt. It's you. You see the meme of Wesley Snipes holding a gun, crying, like he about nah. to shoot somebody, and he like crying. My brother, my brother's keeper. My okay, brother, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me to Will Smith right now. I'm crying. Don't get me Brother's wrong. Keeper. I'm not gonna disrespect yeah. everything that that man did yeah. with Fresh Prince and all of that. And I am legend. There's a couple yeah. bad movies, but that's me right now. I'm holding a yeah. gun, crying, about to shoot Will Smith. I'm done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say three things here and just keep it moving. One, I didn't give a fuck about that shit before. I didn't care <laughs> about it. I don't give a flying fuck. Fuck that. Fuck the whole situation. Like I did back then. I yeah. said, can we just move on from that? Two, um, one, two, because uh, he pretty much just gave everybody a pass to go up and smack a comedian in the face. That is a dangerous president putting up there for people. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying, you know, certain comedians don't deserve to get their ass handed to them. It is in our form, but sometimes, you know, you can't pass a line. But now people are going to be like, oh, Will Smith did it. And, you know, people are stupid. Let's be real. Yeah. It's like, it's funny, ironically, in a, in a Will Smith movie, Men in Black, you know, you know, individuals are intelligent, but people are stupid, dangerous. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're really dangerous. Like they do one example and they go over above. And then three, you slap me in front of all those people. You will not make it to that award. Nope. Shout out to shout out to Chris Rock for, for keeping gonna a absolute, solid. I'm going to absolutely no destroy. charges. Chris, yo, shout Chris Rock Chris. is a professional. Yeah. And, shout out to and Chris everything Rock. Props to him. My man, there is no way. You don't go to the hospital the morgue after you do that shit to me in front of people. That's oh yeah, hard. oh yeah. Double leg takedown and the number of bows and punches to the face I'm dropping with you. I might as well just choke you out too. It's, it's funny because because why you're unconscious. It's yeah. funny because Chris Rock acknowledges that it was a bad joke. He's like, but it's a GIJ joke. Relax, relax. It's alopecia. We go, it, that, we go through that. We go through that. We go through that shit yeah. every day. Look, yeah. I literally started this podcast saying that my hair is done. I got six months left on this little twenty-five percent hairline that I got. Come on, come on now. Come yeah, on. I mean, it's, yo, it's that's just my man. That's a condition, and then it's just poor genes. You know what I'm saying? Nature was kicking my ass, yo, and I decided to get in front of it. Pussy. I'm, it happens. Yo, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. I only knew about the whole entanglement shit because everybody was talking about it, and they made that shit public as fuck. Yeah, that's true. That, that was oh, the pair, first mistake. Yeah. Apparently, this alopecia shit was well known. I never heard of it. That never reached me. It was like avocado just popped up out of one day, and now all of a sudden, everybody loves it. Like I don't, I don't understand. That. Like I don't. Wait, think... wait, 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 wait. Everyone has always loved avocados. The yeah, problem I... was the problem no. was that Chipotle made it Hollywood. Nah, man, kale <laughs> and avocado <laughs> popped up out of nowhere. It was almost like we can make money of this shit. It's a superfood. Son, you put That's what the fuck happened. You, you My favorite thing is that it's son. You don't just, eat avocado. Pork, not pork, just avocado. Pork and rice. Now you could, you could, you could put, you could legit, you could have pork, rice, and avocado on the side. No, 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 no. Here's the thing: that's is, fancy shit. I'm from the Bronx. You gotta stop. It's not just any avocados. It's Mexican avocados. Yes, yes. Avocado that's from it. Mexico. That's the meat. <laughs> They have to be Mexican. I go, it's avocado fucking everywhere. What does it matter if it's Mexican? Yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm the type that if I finish a meal, like back in the day, if I finish the meal and after the meal is done, I noticed that there was avocado there and I didn't have it on the plate. Mm -hmm. I was upset. Bro, we used to eat avocado. We used to get like French bread, slab it with butter, put some avocado on a little salt. Oh, shit. That's that's struggle sandwich. That's a struggle. Ain't nothing. That's the thing. Like guacamole is Hollywood, but like avocados, like bro, like back in the mother country, we was growing that shit in our backyards. That shit wasn't expensive at all. We grew it. You feel me? So like, avocado ain't fancy. It's, it's fucking, fancy. It's fucking, fancy uh, to me. Um, Chipotle <laughs> made that shit fancy. Yeah. See, it's fancy to me. I'm a straight thug. If you ain't kill it, don't put it on my plate. Straight out like that. If you ain't kill it, don't put it on my plate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck I'm not that. This, this weekend, I uh, I ordered like a little like barbecue feast. I had okay. some ribs. I had some ribs and I had some burnt ends. You ever had burnt ends? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Burnt ends are ridiculous. It's like it's like little it's like little slabs of 
like like brisket, but like charred well. My God. If y'all could get your hands on some burnt ends, get them burnt ends. I remember burnt so good. Yeah, I had like a feast. Nah, I really wild out though. Like it was like it was like seventy dollars. Like I put that on the credit card because I'm gonna need to pay that a little slow. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but bro, I had ribs, fries, um, corn on the cob. I did some like real like some barbecue damage. shit. Yeah, some some shit called here. It's called Tom's Originals Barbecue House. And they had that shit on Uber Eats. I said, it's that time. Done. <laughs> it's that time. Yeah, but yo, I don't think you can you can overpay for food. You know, unless that shit was whack, then it's like, all right, I wasted my money. But nah, you know, if you're nah, gonna get was, some good food, you know, yeah, that bill, good. you know, that, that comes secondary. Can I ask you a question, too? What's what's the most you ever like spent on like a weekend? Like, like you order like a whole weekend of Chinese. What's the Shit. most you spent on that? I know that's putting you on the spot. It's hard to think. But like on some weekend shit. One time I just ordered Chinese food for the whole weekend. It was like 60 bucks. But fam, I legit ate Friday two times. Saturday like three times. Sunday like four times, son. Shit. Ah, oh, man. It I don't was, even know. It was, it was the bucket of rice and a little white rice. It was the chicken wings, the honey chicken. I had some... Uh, lo mein, it was like a wild, it was like a, it was like a cater meal that I ordered for yeah. myself for the weekend. <laughs> All right, so yeah. there was, there was one time Cap went to work. He had to, he had to work a double and I'm on my way home and I said, I said, fuck it. I go to the Caridad, I go to the Caridad, the Spanish restaurant. I said, Honey. give me, give me two T-bones, <laughs> two T-bones, white rice and the fucking beans. And, you know, and. Go and ahead. I got the I got the flung and shit because my pops and my pop I was I think it was like sixty eight bucks. The woman next to me was like, "You gonna eat that shit by yourself?" The other T bone was for my pops, but my pops don't be eating like that. I looked at yeah. said, "Yes, this yes. is all mine. Don't even see. Can I see the steak? Nope, you can't see it because then it's gonna get the air on it and it's gonna oxidize. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. get out of here. Yeah, go order yourself one. Can I okay. tell you? Can I tell you one of the realest things ever? And shout out. To the Dominican Chinese folk in New York. I'm sorry, they have Dominican in my book. They yeah. have Puerto Rican in my book. They Asian Caribbean. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what y'all say. A lot of those motherfuckers speak Spanish better than we do, son. Yeah. I wrote number number one on 159 in Broadway, dude in the front spoke perfect. I'm talking about perfect Spanish. So, like, we would, so, okay. If you order like, if you order like two orders, they give you. I think they would give you like some like crab legs or some shit. One day I was just like, bro, I want the orders. Let me get some extra crab legs. But like, give me a lot of crab legs. Do you guys like the crab legs? The fake imitation crab legs? Oh, the ones that are like, <laughs> like like rubber. They, they look. They look. Yes, it's yeah. not great. It's, it's not, not great, great bro. It's not no. great. But like I just got mad. Like I got like three bags of crab legs. <laughs> I mean, of of crab sticks. It was not great. But like, I fuck with those people. Like, like they're the best. Like, yeah. Chinese food in New York is just something else. It's amazing. Not yet, for real. I remember the one time I we really had Chinese food in Florida, and I'm like, this ain't it. Like you literally just cook pork and put it in rice. Like I don't know what seasoning they put in this, in New there's York. Like two, there's it, like two, three spots that in Miami. There's like two, three spots that that nail it. But for the most part, they're not laying it. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the fake. It's, it's it's imitation Chinese food. And they should they should feel sorry for themselves. I had another thing that I was gonna say during that Chinese story, but I forgot. I'm excuse me. I'm sorry. Y'all. It's been a rough end of the month at work. There's alcohol in here. <laughs> yeah, it's been rough, son. You know, end of the month for me is kind of wild. I hear you. It's kind of wild. All right, so yo, let's get into let's get into some Moon Knight because you know Moon Knight has like 86 personalities. You know, from what I understood, Moon Knight everywhere. Understand, from what I understand, he's Bruce Wayne. It's three of them. Yeah, he's he's Bruce Wayne. But with split personality, he's Batman. Because Batman one, has well, that little well, split well, that, personality well, in the middle. That's the but, funny thing because yeah. he's Moon Knight, 
one of the split personalities is Steve Grant. I called him Ryan Grant the last time. My bad. I was thinking about old school running back for uh, the Green Bay Packers. So, like, that's where a lot of the Batman comparisons come from. But his character alone, he's in the night. He has, they're like little battle ranks, but they're like moon crescents yeah. and shit. But that's where the, like, one of his personas is like a rich guy. Of Steve mm-hmm. Grant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the rich guy that has tech and, like, his original suit was bulletproof or some shit. All Kev. Yeah. All Kev, love. So you're pretty, you're looking at Bruce Wayne, a form of um there's Punisher in there too. Punisher in there, yeah. and then at the end, and then at the end of it, there's a little bit of the question in there. Okay. You know what I mean? So he has each one serves a purpose. There's the financing, there's the mercenary who has all the skills, and then there's a cab driver who does all the detecting. Like he's a Jake. street level dude. You know what I'm saying? He's driving cabs, he finds out the info, and then and then once he becomes Moon Knight. It, which is usually the mercenary. He's the one that deals with with uh, with all of it. So you have the finance, you have the skill, and then you have the intelligence, and it all comes together. And and um, all right. So he has two personalities outside of Moon Knight, right? If I'm not mistaken, and then three inside of Moon Knight. Yeah. So he's three. got three personalities, right? Mark Spector, Grant, and then the the cab driver. I Jake, Jake, Lockley. Name. Jake Lockley. Jake Lockley. There we go. Yeah. yeah, and then he's got two personalities within Moon Knight. Yes, where he's Moon Knight and then Mister Knight. Mister Knight, Mister Knight, Mister Knight. Is, Knight so is, cool. is Mister Knight Black Knight. Mask? No, I'm a so Mister Knight. Mister Knight. Knight is a fucking consultant for the police department. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he helps them fight. He helps them figure shit out, and he fights low level crime. Mm-hmm. And he's in a his yo. I'm telling you right now, he's I so love cool. the Moon Knight suit, but that suit is it's, my favorite out of both. If we could have yeah. him kicking ass as Mr. Yeah. Knight, if it could yes. just be Mr. Knight, I'm fine with that. It's so <laughs> badass, bro. I yes. hope, we're, and we're going to see that in, yeah, the, in the show because they yeah. showed both of the costumes. We're going to see Mr. Knight. That's yeah, That suit is so good, bro. What, what's yeah. funny is you said so. you compared him to Batman. Well, he just so happens to be Batman and the Riddler. Because <laughs> the Riddler <laughs> sure. shows up to help out Gotham yeah. TV. Just shows up in a suit looking nice, like yeah, yeah. Shit, it's such okay. a cool suit. It's yeah. such a cool suit, and man. He gets uh he gets the moon knight power from the god of oh. something, right? From the I have Kana, the Kana, 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 yeah. I thought it was Kana Shu, Kan Shu, Kana. Kana Shu, yeah. yeah. And and so like did the, he die in God of Vengeance or some something like that? So <laughs> he, it's the moon, moon God of Vengeance, I believe. When yeah. when uh-huh. he was again like so, my knowledge of Moon Knight comes all from the Midnight Suns. So like back in like back in like 2017, 2018, when we first heard about Morbius, you guys remember that? Mm-hmm. That was like four years ago that we first heard about Morbius. I don't even think we had heard about Blade yet. So. Tom Holland, Spider-Man was in the MCU, and they were talking about Morbius. This was before the whole, this is before Sony realized how much money you can make off a of fucking Spider-Man. Before yeah. they were like, wait, wait, wait. It, it's like Red from Friday. He's like, it's both our bike, but we just keep it in my house. Like, that's what Sony basically did with Spider-Man. Like, nah, it's both of us, but you know, we keep them in my crib. So, like, before all of that started happening, you know, we all thought we we got Spider-Man in the MCU and everything was Gucci. I kept hearing about Morbius and my, you know, 10-year-old self was thinking about Amazing Spider-Man, the cartoon. Yep. And, yep. When, and, when, and when we saw Morbius, we saw Blade. So I thought there was going to be some weird Tom Holland, like, end credit scene where he finds, like, a stake and, like, some, like, crosses and we get Morbius and Blade. So yeah. my night, my, 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 like th- at that point I started Googling like a maniac mm-hmm. and that's when I got to the midnight suns. So most of my knowledge comes from there, but like apparently moon Knight was on some mission. He was still military at this point. He got, let me tell you, he got hella Frank castle in him. It's actually <laughs> pretty cool. So he yeah. was on some mission. He got with some dude, some dude crossed him. He died and Khonshu comes to him. And Cap, please correct me if I'm wrong, comes to him and he's like, yo, 
I'm going to let you live, but you need to do my bidding on earth. And we so get almost, moon that. Almost yeah. like a um, Ghost Rider type shit. Yo, I'm glad you almost. mentioned Ghost Yo. Rider. I'm glad you so, mentioned Ghost Rider because we're going to get into it. So <laughs> I have a... What's up, Flocka? I have a little bit of like a, a history of when he first started. Because Marvel did something cool. And on the outset, you wouldn't think of it. But uh, so Moon Knight showed up for the first time in the in 1970s. The, in the 70s, yeah. Yeah. He he was fighting a character called uh, Werewolf, Werewolf by Night. Werewolf. Yes. All right. So he made his debut, and they, they the fans loved him. The fans were like, yo, this dude is cool. So they kept, they brought him back for Spider-Man. They brought him back for a couple of other things. And then finally they were like, fuck it. We'll give him his own solo run. And in his history, he... What do you call it? He's in the desert. He gets am, uh, ambushed by the Bushmaster. There it is. That's the dead. name. That's the Can't name. Can't you find him? Bushman. Bushmaster Bushman. is... Yeah. Bushmaster, Bushmaster is, is, is Luke Cage. Porn, the porn hub it's version. the same. Get the fuck. It's the same. This is the same thing. Also, the funny thing, Bush, actually, Bushmaster is really a Punisher thing, but. They yeah, just yeah, yeah. Just, mm-hmm. Bushman, he's, who, I think he's in the, the show, see, too. You see, you see, Cap, the Cap knows the deal. This is where I was trying so, to get at, but he says it so eloquently. <laughs> so he gets, he comes back. He had saved all of his money from his mercenary jobs Mm -hmm. and he invested into different shit. So when he came back, him and his boy, uh, who's a French fighter pilot, he's like his Alfred type or no, he's more like his Lucius Fox. Okay. Guy in the chair. Comes up and makes some of the weapons and all the other shit. So when he came back, he had Buku money. This motherfucker is rich beyond belief. So he created the uh Stephen Grant, who's the millionaire, to roll in high society. Yep. He found out that he can roll and get dirt on the big fish, but that's not always enough. So then he created what do you call it? he created the other guy, Jake. Jake. As the cab driver to get the low level guys. Because sometimes you need to you need to do the first thing before you do the second thing. My right? favorite, yeah. my favorite of his personas. Absolutely. It's just a cab driver. You feel me? Yep. Like yeah. everybody talks to the cab driver. Everybody yep. does. Yep. It's like a barber. Yeah. Yo, so what would you say if the cab driver in Deadpool was him? Had his no. name. And that's how they connect Deadpool into the MCU. No. Because he's not a different right. person. Man. I no, got away how those things. That would be crazy. Like, I've been talking to this guy the whole time. I know this guy. He's a shapeshifter. <laughs> So he had those three personalities and Moon Knight. And he literally, in trying to keep all of his shit together, he broke mentally and almost conjured up, uh, what they call it, personality, multiple personality disorder. It's not something like, oh, he had it and all this happened. No, he lost track of all of his of the shit he was doing himself and essentially just gave it to himself. And fucked okay. his own mind up. Shit. So then he was hired by this thing called uh, the committee. All right. And you find out that the committee is sending him after this guy, after some some person. He catches him, hands him over to the committee. When he finds out that this dude is going to be used as a weapon, he breaks that guy out and he fucks up the committee. Now, what Marvel did was cool. The whole run where he chases the dude and gets the committee and all that. That's his fucking appearance in Werewolf by Night. Yeah. Moon Knight's origin. They, 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 they circle back the to it. His first appearance. It leads it, in to his first appearance ever. I, 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 when I was looking all that Midnight Sun shit up, I saw that. That's really cool. Like, that's master class for Marvel. That was really cool. Now, here's what makes him different from... Uh, Ghost Rider. So after that, after that, he broke out um, Werewolf by Night, stopped the committee. Bushman beat the shit out of him, broke his legs. Yep. He spent so much money on painkillers and antipsychotics, he went broke. And then Kanchu stepped in, and the last company he had still under his name, Kanchu played with the fates. 
and made that company come up with some sort of fucking um something, some invention, some weird tech, yeah, yeah, that made him made that company made him even more rich, and he finally was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go to rehab. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get off this shit," and went back to being Moon Knight because Conchu was like, "No, no, no, I I can't say, I can't have you here doing nothing. I need you." So he set it up. He set up our motivations outside of himself to get him back into the game. Oh shit. That's the difference between him and Ghost Rider, where Metastopheles the he don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be very interesting, which is yeah. like there's a lot of like religious undertones here. Like back in the day, he used to rock like that Templar like circle cross thing. Mm-hmm. Like he he's bro. Something about Moon Knight. Moon Knight is on a crusade. He's very cult-ish. Like, <laughs> dude is, and I'm telling you, he's on a yeah. crusade yeah. to, like, cleanse the night. Like, my man is really trying to, like, recruit people, cleanse the night. Like, him and Kanchu don't really fuck with each other anymore. But, like, he still is doing, like, his bidding. He's still like, yo, fuck Kanchu, But, like, I still believe in his beliefs. So I'm going to just do my thing. And I'm telling you, bro, this guy, he's, Moon Knight is super interesting with all of the religious undertones and shit like that. I find it fascinating. And he's, he's Jewish in the comics. So I would love to see what they're going to do here with but, Oscar Isaac. What makes that, what makes that particularly interesting is the whole Egypt thing. Correct. You, you can get into any religion. You can get into the religion that the ancient Egypts had. And the fact that he's a Jewish character, the whole shit with the Jews in Egypt back in the day with Moses and part of the Red Sea and them being enslaved. Yeah, the language <laughs> of the slaves. Yeah. That, if done correctly, can be fucking broached upon. So, I mean, you're not going to have a moment like uh, Falcon or Sam Cap turn around like, you need to do better. But you can, you can definitely touch on that history, hopefully, in a good enough way to explain it and not exploit it. Hmm? We're gonna we're gonna see Blade in the series. You think so? Pie in the sky. You know, always got that pie in the sky. This is true. We're gonna, we're gonna see Blade in this series. Are we gonna see or Spider-Man? Maybe, we no. might see Ghost Rider. Yo, dude, as to you, 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 you want it so bad, Cap. I know you want it yeah. so bad. As if, so wait, hold on. Five, before you oh, go, shoot. before you go, if we do get a Ghost Rider, will we get Johnny? Will we get catch or will we get Reyes? So I think they might do what they did in uh season five of Shield. Might be Reyes. Where where no Blades. Blaze comes oh, Blaze, up. First. Blaze, okay. And it, it just might be it might not be an actor, it just might be the writer shows up for something. Correct. And it's Blaze. All CG. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it then it transitions into you know, somebody else takes take over, it doesn't matter. Cause there's it, hella there's hella rumors that he's gonna cool. show up in Doctor Strange. It would be cool if Robbie shows up in this to bring Robbie Reyes into the MCU Love proper Robbie. and not just Shield. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. But I don't see I don't see why that connection would work. Where Blaze got, is, we, is a better connection a, point. We got a really good question yes. in the chat. Any concerns with the initial Rotten Tomatoes rating of 77 for the no. show? Now, no. in Rotten Tomatoes, 77 is not as bad as people think. On average, Rotten Tomatoes is giving shit 70. Um, is that audience or I mean it can't be audience yet? I when it comes to Rotten Tomatoes, <laughs> Metacritic, all of that shit, I wait for audience, and regardless of that, bro, how and, and and I'm pretty sure you guys can weigh in on this. How different were all of the shows? Some people love WandaVision. Some people love Loki. We yeah. personally, I mean, I know me and Le at least, we love Captain America Winter Soldier. Me too. And that's like the one that people like the least. Yeah. So I really like, I know people feel a certain type of way about racial shit, religion shit, and all of that kind of stuff. I'm very interested to see the religious side of all of this. And I'm not a, like, I, I'm a spiritual person more than anything. I'm like, my faith is very weird. There is faith there, but it's weird. 
So I want to see how they go into this. I, I love you, how they tackle faith in Daredevil. So, like, I want to see how they I, do it here. The, you I know, the difference good. The difference with the, the TV shows is that the movies were all their own movies connected through uh, one or two different tunnels. You know, either it's the end scene or this happened at the same time as this happened. The TV shows were connected in the fact that they're all MCU. So yeah. they, they're happening. We already know. But every TV show was different, right? Where where they had their own vibe and everything. But the difference between Captain America and Winter Soldier was that was the only one that definitively told you there's change in the MCU. Hawkeye 100. was still Hawkeye, and he's training a, he's training a girl, and you introduce uh you know Kingpin. That's what everybody wants. Winter Soldier and and Falcon, there is no more Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers is gone. Sam is Cap. Breaking grounds. My yeah. Captain America is black. Yep. Let's the, go. The the Let's the go. the what what what's the women name in um Black I'm Panther? The, the no the, the army the cinema the Dormelage the Dormelage. Dormelage. The Dormelage is their own government now that they, they literally they literally Queens. have jurisdiction. Yeah, they literally yeah. have jurisdiction wherever they are. Love it. And yo, know, it's it's literally one of those like this is what's happening now. You're not getting anything other than this. That's probably why people didn't like it so much. Not you know, there was a lot of racial tone in it. It's the racial but, stuff, bro. Yeah. It's the racial but stuff. One, it was the fact that when they did US agent, he really couldn't connect with him until the end. Where he was like, fuck the government. I'm just gonna be my own guy. And and then you have, yo, know, there's no more Steve Rogers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there's no more Steve Rogers. You know, Bucky is not a not a killer anymore. Mm -hmm. He's trying to he's trying to mend for himself. You see the human side of Sam, and and then you, you see the 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 first black uh, super soldier, and he's struggling with all that other shit. It was it was like Marvel layers, said. Layers. Yeah, Marvel was like, we're not afraid to tell you that history in itself is fucked up. It's bullshit. And look at, and look at all the fucked up parts of history. Hit the That's bell for me. yourself. Hit the bell for yourself. Hit the bell for yourself. That's a yeah. great fucking point. Yeah. Great point, man. 100%. For real. So, like, yeah. to be honest, like, I think I, I don't want to speak for anybody here, but I think we could all pretty much say, like, fuck rotten tomatoes and what people think. And, oh, yeah. You feel to me? Answer your like, question, Dumb Marks. Yeah. It, it's funny because I'm Dumb Marks feels it too. He said it was super yeah. deep. It was. Yeah. And it's like, like, <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing. I, I speak to so many people about it. And it's like, even as a Latino, even, even you know, you know, I'm a I'm a darker shade than a lot of fucking Latinos. You feel me? So yeah. you know, I I like if, if the police stop me, I'm a black man, I'm not white. You feel me? So, like, even as that, like not realizing what was happening this whole show, and when fucking Falcon says, Well, you know what, Bucky, maybe you and Steve will never understand why I'm denying this shield. You guys just won't get it. And that's when I was like, oh, shit. So even that, like, you know, so it was deep, but you it know, was layers. And we're, I'm pretty sure the way we view things, we're going to find some of those layers in here. You, you know what the crazy shit is, though? Rewatching it, you learn the shield for Sam and everyone else was a symbol of greatness for America. The shield for Steve Rogers and for Bucky was the symbol of a of a good human being. Yeah, it was it was what someone needed to inspire. It was the leader of basically the nation and and the and the country at this point. Like now, for for Sam and the culture and all, that, it's hard to believe that because throughout life they tell you you ain't shit. Yeah. So so for you to be handed a symbol of the country, you're seeing the country rejecting you. With Steve Rogers is like, no, this isn't a symbol of the country. This is a symbol of a man of a good who's, person who's who's willing to stand up for good no matter what. And I see that in you, Sam. Yeah. There's yeah. no oh. race involved in that in that in that situation. You really that's think I, that's not better than one division? You really think funny. that's not better than one division? Man, yeah. fuck that. I mean, and fuck I know that. Captain Guru me. How many times have we not said here that Captain America is only Captain America by name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? He yeah. is about the human dream. Pretty much, I remember well, what uh, what Optimus Prime said: every sentinel being deserves a right to be free, yep, and to pursue their life. I don't care if that flag is in front of me, behind me, next to me, whatever. 
I'm here for human decency and rights. I don't care what yep. country you're from. I don't care what creed they are, or race. It doesn't matter me, religion. I'm here to help the people that can't help themselves. They help them achieve the best of who they are. And that's all caps are and said. Great yeah. question. Great question, Dumb Marks. Really sure. good question. Oh, yeah. One, one more thing about the Captain America show. The reason why um, U.S. agent wasn't a good pick is because he was Captain America already. You know what I'm saying? Like, he his qualifications, what he did in, in the Army... Was like, all right, you would have been Captain America if we gave you the Super Soldier Serum when you first started out, because that's who you were. You already finished. Like, this is a guy at the end of his rope dealing with the shit that he had to go through. He already had PTSD. There's no way in fuck that you give this guy the mantle and he has to relive everything that he's suffering from with the PTSD. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gave somebody on paper that matched Steve, that matched Steve Rogers. The problem was Steve Rogers was going through it and became that man. Yes. Where this guy was already that man and ended, and now you want him to do it all over again. He skipped what made Steve Rogers Steve yeah. Rogers. Yeah, it's like, 100%. It's like, it's like, fight Tyson, you live, now we want you to fight Tyson again. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, bro, that's not happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One and done. One yeah, and done. I, I like my ears. <laughs> but, but yeah. Another thing, another thing Dunmark says, which is like what I'm also looking here, interested in how they tackle the mental health disorder given it's only six episodes. You're right. There's going to be a lot of, like, is there going to be maybe too much character building? Are we going to see the other two personas? Will we see the <laughs> cab driver, Jake? Will we see uh, the rich guy? Um, so that's what I was trying to say the other day, but I kept calling him Ryan Grant. Again, wrong name. <laughs> Sorry. Like, are we going to see these people? And it's like, with six episodes, I mean, Marvel has shown that they could do a lot with these six episodes. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. confident that they'll do enough. But yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, dumb marks. I, I, I really want to see how they tackle this mental health shit, man. It's like this guy's nuts. He ties himself at bed so that uh, on the bed so he doesn't go outside at night. He leaves salt or whatever it is around his bed to see footprints if he left. That is crazy to me and i and, and when we when you guys first asked me a couple episodes back like yo did you see moon what do you think that's the first thing that popped out to me this guy's really going through some shit so <laughs> you know we haven't had we've had heroes in the mcu deal with their mental stuff yeah but a mental disorder i don't think we haven't had that so let i would love to see how they do it I, like there's that game that came <laughs> out um uh, Senwa is the main character. I forget. It's a. It's literally about a girl who has mental disorders, and like the game is created for you to put your headsets on so you can hear these like crazy voices in the back. Man, what is the name of that game? Senwa, some. That's the second one. But like, I'm. I. I. I would love to see how they make us like feel that, and I. And I hope it's not distasteful, and I hope that yeah. people going through this kind of shit. Can like stick to this and and, and have their own champion. I mean, well, kind of did something similar with the Green Goblin. Oh, for, for sure. Even you know Wanda, I mean? even yeah. Wanda, I would say. Yeah, because she was going in and out of reality when you know she was taking over the the thing. The escapism but, was yeah. there for sure. Yeah, no. Nah. I just hope they don't do what they did with Boba Fett. Don't like they keep the, the Boba Fett was like eight episodes of him going back in time. Like, what happened before the current events? It's like, all right, we get it, bro. If you got to go back in time, do it in the first 20 minutes of the first episode, and let's 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 get it moving. Let's get it going. You know what I'm saying? Because I can, anyone can relate to the five different characters this guy has to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you show them early enough, or, like, you show a couple, and then at the end of the episode is that cliffhanger because now a new one came, it's like, all right, yo, this shit is dope. But yeah. it has to be mostly him. Yeah. I can see this this show being like a one man show with you know guests coming in and out every once in a while. Delayed. You know? <laughs> Give me, just, man, I just I just got so excited about this guy. I I don't never know how to pronounce Mursa, Mur, Masala, Masala, Mursala, Mursala, Mursala. Got it. So I'm just so excited to see him. Wesley Snipes give him the okay. Like, I need to see this man already, bro. Give me a hint of Blade. Just, to, just, just, you feel me? Just give me a little bit of Blade, dog. Just a bit. Hey. 
So, so, so I mean, you know, Marvel, you know, these shows, there's always like a big reveal. It's funny because in one division, the big reveal was, I mean, Agatha, PHL. I guess, was a big reveal. Oh, yeah. And, you know, but White Vision was yeah, also. Yeah, that was the worst kept was, secret. I think I think the big reveal yeah. was, was the book. It was honestly the book. Because the book oh, leads yeah. to Multiverse of Madness. That's between, interesting. Between Doctor Strange being a complete doofus. Let's be real. <laughs> the, man's a, the man's a surgical genius. But he's an idiot when it comes to common sense with somebody that knows it tells you, yo, don't fuck with that spell. Because I am the source supreme now. Remember that? Not you. Yep, 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 I yep. have the thing now. I like, hey, it's me. It's like Eddie Murphy. I, I'm the guy. You're not the chosen one. It's me. So, so, so the, not you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Who will we the see argument. in the show? Who will we see? R- real quick, what? the argument now is who's the bigger asshole? Peter Quill, uh, Doctor Strange, or Lady Enchantress? Enchantress? Enchantress. Sylvie. No, the, uh, Sylvie. Sylvie, yeah. Okay, yeah. so um, so now in order of what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Of what's going on right now? Yeah. It's a Doctor Strange, Sylvie, and then Quill. I- <laughs> <laughs> subtle, subtle. Yeah. No. Yeah. subtle. I, I I agree with Lay, except for one thing. It's Quill, Doctor Strange. Well, what happened? What happened with Quill? <laughs> what happened with Quill is over. What happened with Quill is over. Yeah. Now, I'm, 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 we gotta, now we got to deal with Doctor Strange not understanding how the spell he's throwing out there works, and <laughs> and Peter Parker not shutting his fucking mouth. Like yo, shut yeah. up, man! I'm trying to focus. To be fair, to be, I've been thinking a lot about this. I and and, 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 and I go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When, I just want to before I forget, I just want to say, I have a, a little bit of a manage expectations when it comes to this show thing. So sure. when we circle back to Moon Knight, I'm gonna sure. I I would like to like again. The MCU has people always showing up. These shows we've had some. You know, Hawkeye, we had Kingpin, you know, Falcon Winter Soldier, we didn't really have any. I mean, I guess you could, US agent I mean, was, was. We had uh, the, the uh, Black Widow sister showed up in Hawkeye too. True, true. Yeah, yeah. You know, that so was like, a big one. Who, she was, is anyone, is anyone everything, showing up here? I want is her anyone showing up here? She's awesome. I, I really, I'm not going to lie to you. I want Blade real bad. Oh my god! But to me, Ghost Rider would make the most sense because Ghost Rider, how, yes. How, how much, how similar they are? To me, yes. that makes sense. That yes. makes so much sense. You know what I mean? Would would a reveal of a bad guy be suffice? Be, well, that'd be interesting. It depends on the bad guy. It, like if you have a bad guy that it, it's it deals with both Moon Knight and Ghost Rider, Moon Knight and like Blade, then you know. You know who who could who could besides hey, Kingpin? Who can Mephisto confirmed? <laughs> oh, you love it. <laughs> no, no, Mephisto, Mephisto you know Mephisto's a big you know he's a big you part of all of that midnight sun shit. You know what's funny? You could do nightmare in a way. You could because the reason is nightmare would fit in to the multiverse of madness, too. So in a yeah. way, you can segue him, especially him and Ghost Rider, because Doctor uh, Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider and Nightmare have always had this like dance switch and dance partner thing you know what i mean yeah you could do nightmare it would make sense but the the what uh cabs was saying the midnight suns they have their own like main villain i forget the woman's name it always escapes lilith lilith Lilith. yes exactly now you could have nightmare work with lilith and then if you're smart you'll branch that off to where Moon Knight, Blade, and all these people have nothing to do with everybody else. <laughs> me, and Cap, I mean? me and Cap laughed at the same time at that comment. Bro, the, Yo, the listen, hair. look at it's that brown, luscious bro. It's hair. Brown. Listen, listen, there's not much great hair on this podcast, so we're living through that. Yeah. Let them mm-hmm. locks flow. Go ahead, give us a little <laughs> <Word. day> watch. <laughs> Wait, there I it got, is. I, I got you. Speaking of that. Yeah. Speaking of that, I was watching. I was I was in the Knucklehead YouTube, and I was just watching old clips. Same and here. I I do that shit often. To, yo, it's scary how often I go back to the yeah. wrestling podcast, the Tony Show show. Like if I'm doing something in the crib and I just need some noise in the back, I put the podcast on just to hear funny shit. And I went back to the thanks uh, to the to the feast and Christmas, or yeah. was it Thanksgiving? It was Christmas. And yeah. I saw us rubbing our faces on shit. It was great. <laughs> that is such a good video, man. Oh, oh my man. god! <laughs> Word. Give me a sec, y'all. 
Uh, Flock it. He's trying to get to 88 miles per hour so he can go back in time. Absolutely. <laughs> So, Lay, yeah. all right, you was talking about um, the chick and Nightmare yeah, working right, with her. Yeah, yeah. so she's uh, pretty much uh, the Midnight Suns, from my understanding, uh, please correct me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not fully, you know what I'm saying, uh, knowledgeable in it, but the point is they were made up pretty much a counterbalance anything that has to do with her and her evil trying to get into the world. They're all, like, handpicked, apparently. You know what I'm saying? They're all picked. <clears throat> these people specifically picked, and it's funny because a lot of them aren't may stay people this is really random it's extremely random like if you see the first <laughs> couple of ones you're like i don't know who you are i don't know who you are why are you here this is weird you know but in a sense is they use them to counterbalance whatever evil she has because she has her minions too you know what i'm saying yeah they do that and in a, and like i am um, like oscar said oscar isaac has no idea about these people but he has, he has to have some kind of idea because he really picked people that are in the Marvelverse now, in a sense. He picked Daredevil, he picked Ghost Rider, he picked um, Punisher, and he picked Blade. And if you think about it, Midnight Suns, that makes more sense because all of these guys mostly operate at night. Yep. All of them. You know what I'm saying? With himself included as Moon Knight. You know what I mean? So it would make perfect sense for it to be like Nightmare or Littlest or maybe, you know, something between them. That would make the, the most sense because I'm saying it, you don't have to have Blade in these people in the, the Avengers. The Avengers are already assembling with yeah. something else. They have Shang-Chi, they have all these other people coming, right? All you really have to focus on is you can have two different divisions going at the same time. You're fighting it on the, um, the space level or whatever, and these people find it on another dimension. That's the, mystic, the mystic level. level. Mystic yeah. level like that. Like they're fighting, we're fighting mystically while you guys are taking care of what everybody else sees. We're doing the shit that nobody sees, but it's as important as what you're doing. If like you're all, smart, all that multiverse stuff. Yeah, if you're smart, if you if you're smart, you can do this at the same time and drop a double amount of movies, one after the other, one that's mystic, yep. and one that's the regular ones that we all know. You and can, then we and keep it, and then we keep movie. it ground level with Captain America yep. 4. So Absolutely. we can have all that space shit going on, all that time travel stuff going on with Thor, and, uh, with Thor, and you know, with the. the I heard that we're, we're getting some Nova stuff coming on, yeah. and the Guardians, Guardians. Marvel, yeah. and, and then we got the ground level stuff with Young Avengers and fucking um, uh, we were just saying it right now with Cap Four and yep. Bucky, and then yep. we have all the supernatural mystic shit. Which like yeah. son, like it's there. Punisher, Punisher was once upon a time a uh, member of the Midnight Suns. Ghost Rider. There's been so much Ghost Rider shit. I promise you, whenever we start talking to a celebrity about MCU stuff, it's because it's gonna fucking happen. Like these guys aren't stupid. They got the medicine. They got the recipe already. So we, I mean, uh, we've said it here plenty of times. You got three divisions going on at the same time. Space, ground, mystic, or supernatural. Yeah. And the That's God it. shit with the Celestials and the Eternals and shit, you know. I consider the, when that, that when space that, stuff. Yeah. Right, yeah. But I mean, that'll, you know. that'll eventually cross over into them being in It's going to be like Omega level. level. Yeah, it'll, it'll come to it. But the point is when you, yeah. when you can have all of it happening and then you get to the point where you're pumping out all those movies if you do it right. Yeah. First of all, rest in peace, DC. It was fun <laughs> while you tried. You know yeah. Nah, it was, one, it was a great effort. We appreciate it. Keep up in the movies out. We're gonna go yeah. watch them. We're watching them. Yeah. But what we're just saying is, you are way behind it. If Marvel starts doing that, it's over. And then, no, DC's like dun, death day. It's like a dunk contest. You're like, yo, just yeah. It's like Vince Carter going. It's over. Yeah, <laughs> it's over. We're done. <laughs> DC's death date was Batman vs Superman. The this, the day after it released, DC died. Oh my god. That was that was it. Yeah. That was it. They they killed any chance of of they having, having a fight. Having oh, a DC, yeah. DC, DC still has really good animated stuff though. Like yeah. they're oh, they're man. the kings in that. They're the kings in that. But that's true. You can give them that much. His toes gonna love this. So I used to say that wrestling died. Survivor Series 1996. The minute Howard Finkel said, and their team partner Rocky Maivia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so DC died at the exact moment Superman said save Martha and Batman went did we just become best friends? We became best friends because our moms yeah. are the same. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can. I yeah. can. I, I cannot not agree with that. I cannot not agree with that. So, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you you can spin it properly, you can literally, and then you can you can really fashion your shows and your movies into those three different things. Well, you can then you can have D level character like yo. You can have uh, Mr. Voodoo. You can literally have Mr. Voodoo have a show, and Mr. Voodoo is an African American. Guess what? Voodoo practitioner that is sometimes on the level of Doctor Strange. And yeah. where does he reside in? Take a wild guess what city he resides in. Just yeah. throw it out there. Take a They're wild guess. New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans. Ah, okay, okay. New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? So there yeah, you go. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? If you do it right, yeah. there's and no can, way you can, can go wrong. He, they can also introduce um, the cloak and dagger because aren't they in yeah. New Orleans also? Absolutely. You can bring you want, whatever that show yeah. is that they did. Son, all of this vampire, yeah, was... all of this vampire werewolf shit could lead to the son. You can have Hannibal King make an <clears throat> appearance here. Yep. He was a part of the Midnight Suns for a bit. Yep. Here's like, the funny thing. The what do you call, I've been hearing rumors that if Ryan Reynolds does make an appearance, yo, it's gonna be Hannibal King. I was Deadpool. I've been pying in the sky and all day with Moon Knight, him, son. Him with the sh shipwreck beard? I want to see him with the shipwreck beard. I'll be like, perfect. Son, I've been I've been on this Midnight Sun shit. I brought it up plenty of times here. I've mm -hmm. been researching it for the last three, four years, ever since it started all this Morbius stuff. Like, we could bring in Hannibal King. Yo, How good part? would that be? Hey, yo, you know what? To be honest, he could do both. We'll yeah. have him in the mass as Deadpool. And this is where he could be real Ryan Reynolds like. And then Hannibal King, he could still be Ryan Reynolds, but just a little bit more chill, a yeah. little bit more serious, a little bit more uh, Amityville horror. Because let me tell you, Hannibal King is like all mystic. He came out throughout that whole Dracula arc with Wolverine, bro. They were trying to get, so get this shit, bro. They were trying to extract blood from mutants with healing factors so that vampires can essentially drink and heal at the same time and just be day walkers just walk them the vampires just walking amongst everything and hannibal king was at the forefront of stopping all of that shit if we can get ryan reynolds hannibal king in moon Knight and then lead to some midnight sun shit so Yo. like okay, but we have a lot of that happening. We have Thunderbolts. We got Young Avengers. When are we gonna see these groups though? You feel me? That that's like three years down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real quick with the Hannibal King, he can be Marvel's proxy for Van Helsing. Mm -hmm. Oh hell yeah, mm -hmm. hell yeah! The vampires are coming. The Yo, werewolves are coming. They're what's coming. good is that in certain runs of the Midnight Suns. Doctor Strange is the one who recruits everybody. That's why it so makes sense. You don't sense. need to put Doctor Strange in the Avenger movie if he's off with the Midnight Sun. Because mm -hmm. he's taking care of the threats that the Avengers are don't know about and are vastly underpowered to fucking deal with. Yep. Yep. Because sometimes, I don't know if you noticed, know sometimes your cosmic energy won't kill a fucking incorporeal ghost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you yeah, need a writer really. or somebody who deals in the fucking occult. <laughs> and there's hella and there's hella rumors right now that we might see Ghost Rider in Doctor Strange. Now, I'm almost getting sick of all of the who we're gonna see in Doctor Strange, but like apparently there's a lot of cameos coming up. So Yo, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna laugh when there's like four cameos. And the whole movie is just about Doctor Strange. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> there's gonna be there's gonna be Professor X. Yo, so some dude made a fan-made drawing of that image of Doctor Strange looking at that console, at that console. The Illuminati? Cow council. They didn't call it Illuminati, though, but at that council. And they made silhouette figures all <laughs> sitting in the chairs. And everybody went nuts. And I'm like, first of all, did you watch that trailer? There was like a few chairs missing. But they put a real like pixelized kind of broken down image of Captain Carter and her, you know, the, the British emblem on her shit. And then they put a Reed Richards. They had a fucked up looking little four there. And I'm like, y'all, it's a fan make relax. But 
I need to see what's happening in Doctor Strange. And like, Doctor, it's funny because Doctor Strange, we've been getting hints at the mystical side of stuff for quite some time. In Doctor Strange, we actually see the, I, forget, I always, Mintar? The, 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 the horse dude. I forget his that, name all the horse time. dude is a centaur. Centaur. Is a minotaur. Yeah, so like, we're, we're getting to mystic stuff, you know? So let's see it. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm just ready for Blade. God, I'm ready for Blade. I just need to see. I just want. I just want him to be good. I want him to hold it down because Blade is the creator. Blade is the originator yeah. of all of this shit. How would you feel if Moon Knight's talking to a therapist and you never see the therapist, and towards the end of the show, you just hear there's always a motherfucker trying to ice skate uphill, and it's Wesley oh Snipes is a therapist. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because he talks to his therapist all the time. The Avengers legit. Like, yo, you need to talk to this person. You need to <laughs> yo, talk to this lady. You are messed up. Talk to this girl. Yeah, so he be, does that a that'd lot. That'd be a cool thing. But what what would be cool to tie it all together if the therapist he talks to is the same one Bucky talked to? Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Because yeah. that way, for the shows, at least that'll give a connective tissue yeah. without having to overtly be like, no, he's... he's so he's, so what if Wesley is the guy that helps Blade out? I would love for him to be Whistler. Yeah, absolutely. I can't... Think I can't, about I can't, it. Wesley Snipes is the one who trained Mahershala Ali to, to hunt vampires. Oh. That's fucking genius. Blade trained Blade? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking do it. Make it happen, baby. Make it fucking happen. <laughs> I yo, I just hope. Like, look, I know Marvel is at a point where they sort of can't miss. Like, there's just too yeah. much connected shit going on. There's too much multiverse stuff going on. Like, whether it's a good or bad movie, is gonna be at least enjoyable. I just want some good Blade stuff. I mentioned it here so much. I love the dark trench coat. Like, I just want. Oh my god, cotton yeah. mouth. Give it to me. Pause. I want my Hershaw Lee <laughs> in the old school green jacket with the snow goggle fucking glasses. <laughs> with the English accent. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just one. Just just early on, like the opening montage, it's him looking like that. And then we when we cut back into the movie after the title, he's regular boy. They gave us that in um in uh Luke Cage season yeah. two. <laughs> So, so that's the thing. So the, the only thing that does kind of like bring me back from all of this, like thinking off and shit. So if it is, well, I mean, they confirmed that it was Blade talking to the Black Knight. They had a, a separate team called like B-13. They were out in London and they were hunting vampires. So, of course, Blade is whatever you got Blade doing, vampires will be involved, of course. <laughs> so like, yeah. if they go that route, whatever but i really like man there's just too much buzz about the midnight suns right now and again like i keep saying we've had buzz of many teams miss marvel's about to come out i think when this phase is over what we have four or five who knows <laughs> like when four is over i think five branches out to all of these groups well, and then maybe we can dangerous. five might be phase, phase it could five be a... is dangerous because we can't see phase five. Oh god <laughs> All right, Juan, so that's the Juan, end of, of Cap. That's the end of Cap being on the show. Yeah. Uh, so Juan, uh, Juan, Juan Cena. Juan Cena. It's a good. It was a good dad joke. But yeah, like, like I think I think once the uh, I think once the Kang the Conqueror stuff finishes, maybe we can move to Phase Five. Like, who is the Thanos of Phase Four? Is it is it Kingpin? Is it? Um, Kang. So maybe when we finish this, we start branching off the teams and just, just please give me the Midnight Suns. It's <laughs> yo, Punisher. Yo, imagine John Punisher, whoever you pick is Ghost Rider, Moon Knight, Doctor Strange. Like, hello, hello. That's just yeah, good I don't know television. if you're aware of this, but 2K Interactive, they're making a Midnight Suns video game. Yeah. I've already, oh, you know, I've already signed up for the email for the. Put me shit. down. Put me down. Like yeah. I am a hundred percent playing this game. For the first time ever, you you can make your own hero to fight alongside everybody. The minute I heard that, I was like, "Yo, here's hundred and thirty dollars. 
for the deluxe edition. <laughs> I don't even know if they're going to do a deluxe edition. They might have to give me some money back. <laughs> yeah. G- give me a statue. I will give you $600. Give me a statue. Give me a statue of Ghost Rider. Oh, oh. yo. Yo, Doom, the Marks. If you're going to do the Mystic Arts, you got to put in Dr. Doom. You got to bring in some Doom. Yo, Doc, Dr. Doom was almost Sorcerer Supreme. You know what I'm saying? You want to talk about some some magic and and Dormammu or nightmare or some shit? Like, didn't he make a didn't he make a fucking deal with the devil, Doctor Doom? Everybody oh, does. Do it at some point. Everybody has to make that deal, or yeah. at least gets an offer. <laughs> All right. So, so I want to circle back around to Moon Knight. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. I want to talk yeah. about because there's a couple of expectation things I wanted to. to put yeah, out. yeah, you did mention that. So one. I don't think so. It would be cool to get into the whole religious thing, like you said. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they're just gonna stick with the cultists. Okay. Well, okay, okay. Especially and, with this guy Ethan Hawke there doing yeah. Arthur Harrow. So, so it's not gonna be like a like like Daredevil where it's like Catholic centric. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just gonna be a religious view versus a cult view. Sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure. The uh, uh, they brought up the multiple personality disorders. I don't. I don't think we're gonna get the rich guy, the cab driver, and Mark, because I think one, we don't need another Tony Stark rich dude. We don't need that in the MCU right now. We but don't. two, I think it serves the the story better if if it played out more like Memento, where we're watching one of the one of the people. And you kind of get a hint of this at in the trailer. One of the personalities is a down on his luck, sympathetic character that we can bond with, and he's struggling to keep himself together, and he is unaware for the for the, at least the front part of what else is happening. That way, the more he learns, the more we learn. We and learn. We follow him, yeah. And you don't need the rich dude. You can do the sympathetic character. So that you don't go, you don't you don't run the risk of being offensive mm-hmm. to people that have this disorder. Okay, okay. You can, it's kind of like like um like Captain America, Sam. Yes, he's a black man wearing the stars and stripes, and he said that. And they had the thing with the cops where they stopped him and not Bucky and all that shit. But when he's given the speech, he said the line. But he was still talking for the totality of everyone. Sure. It wasn't a us and you. It was a I'm one. You think I'm one of them, but we're all in this shit now. Yeah. Everybody is one of them now. Yeah. So you could do that where it's not a. I think that's the better way to do it where you. You touch on it. But you don't but make don't it. But don't harp on it. But don't harp yeah. on it. You touch yeah. it. Like don't harp. We're not going to sit there and try to actually go through. Or better yet, we're going to show that somebody who has something like this is capable of doing things. Can be a member of society. You know, one of those routes where we're not trying to get clinical with it. Because mm-hmm. then you run the risk so, of. So, so let me ask you. So it's just Mark Spector this the entire time. No, no. From what I've seen in the trailer, mm-hmm. it's uh, Steve, Stephen. Yeah, it's Stephen. For the most part, we're following him. Okay. The the one who used to be the rich guy. The rich dude. Who's now the poor dude, mm-hmm. which makes more sense, because think about it. If we came into this right, and he already had money. And he already had gadgets and he already had all this shit. We would be like, this motherfucker's Batman, and we wouldn't give him a chance. True. Yeah, yeah True. that's the first so thing I you, said. <clears throat> if you follow him, if, if we follow him as, as somebody who, down on his luck, doesn't have money, struggling to keep his life together, like so many of us are, we can latch on to him. And then at a certain point, one of the other personalities reaches out to him, or somehow he figures out, oh, you mean to tell me I had access to all this and I didn't know it? Then from that point, you can jump off with now he's got money and resources. 
but he only learned about it at the same time we learned about it. Mm -hmm. So it's a more natural way to get into all of that shit. Which leads to another great question from Dumb Marks. Um, is this show given the character best suited for multiple seasons of a show? I feel not every character has to be connected in a movie. So I know that they just canned One Division 2, season two. They just said that they're not doing it. So I don't and 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 Loki season two, we haven't heard anything about that. So, so I don't know if the, I don't know if the yeah, I, but I don't know if they're gonna go that route for each of the shows. I know they just canned one division. I but, read that. <coughs> You don't. You wouldn't need a one division two, because you should get your closure at the end of the uh, multi multiverse of madness. Sure. And then the second season of one division would be what? She's out of Westview. She. Like, what if what if White Vision tries to hook up with her? You want to see another? You want to see another episodic show with her and White Vision? Like that'd be that that would be the one that people are like. This shit's fucking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I would be yeah. I would be cautiously optimistic. Yes, 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 yes. But, but I so, mean I don't I don't know if they're gonna do more double seasons. But you're right. I mean, but okay. So like, would it be dumb marks? Would it be a situation where we have a new personality every season? That might be a little weird. What for Moon Knight? For Moon Knight, a new no, personality you, every season. Moon Knight can. Let I mean, that be that be kind of dope. A little Moonlight bit. can can run well at, into at least two seasons, because this I like first, the question. I like the, season, I like the question. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. This whole first season, he's learning about his situation. Yeah. Then the second season, now I know what the situation is. Blade. How do I deal with it? That those are your two mm-hmm. arcs right there. Yep. Blade and and uh, Night Rider, or Ghost Rider. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it, if you want to throw David Hasselhoff in there, <laughs> yeah, too, fuck man. it. You know, I mean, he was he was in Guardians of the Galaxy too. Fuck it, he's already yo, MCU. He's Nick Fury. <laughs> yo, I would yeah. not mind if if he showed up in Multiverse of Madness as a very. I want that so bad. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. I want that so bad. I want him. I want him in some weird scene where he's singing karaoke. <laughs> And the the video that's playing in the song he's singing is the fucking Berlin Wall coming down. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Was, so was, what do what do we think about this Arthur Harrow, Ethan Hawke's character? Because we mentioned the cultist shit. Like, what do you think about that, Cap? So in the comics, he was like a one off villain, like some weird scientist dude. And and was it was shit. he even like a, a a a Moon Knight villain like per se yeah. like it was his or was yeah. it someone it else's? Was, okay, no, no, he I, he might have appeared somewhere else, but he was a one off like Moon Knight guy. So yeah, they're putting but a lot perfect. of they're putting a lot of eggs in these baskets of him though for a one shot. No, no, because he's the perfect character to take to make a villain of a of a whole series or the veil villain as I call Correct. it. The, you know, the guy who's you think you're supposed to be fighting when all along it's the other guy. He's perfect because he's so obscure. Is the Mandarin? The, oh, no, the, he's, yeah, not, he's not that, but but a, co- so a cover, that. a cover for yeah. the big villain. Yeah, but you can change him however you need him to fit the story, and it doesn't matter because he was in one comic as a fucking scientist. You didn't do it for fucking 80 years, and now you change him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you got to have. I know Bushman's in it, so is Midnight Man, you know what I mean? And he'll probably deal with him one episode or something like that, you know. Now, so. do the different personalities have different bad guys? No, no, because I, I mean, like, it would be weird, like, if oh, yes, if the, if the rich, like, the suited knight, uh, dark, um, Moon Knight doesn't fuck with. Kingpin, but the the badass one, the Batman one, so, fucks so, up so with Kingpin. He starts to he starts to question what's real and what's not. So there could be situations where he fights one guy, maybe he doesn't remember the next day. So here's here's how I think they they actually do it. So Mark Spector, because he's a mercenary, he has people that are after him for that lifestyle. Stephen Grant as the rich dude. Because he's rich and he's dealing with that part of society, he has enemies from that world. The cab driver is low life. He's got enemies in that world. Moon Knight has his more spiritual enemies and all of the shit he goes after. 
uh, Mr. Knight, because he's a consultant and a low level like Prime, he can have those guys. So, in a sense, he every personality does have their own villains. So Moon Knight, uh, Mr. Knight could go after Fisk, while there's a bigger threat, and Moon Knight shows up for the bigger threat. In a sense. So, so, so they should have changed his name to Smoke, because he wants all he got. <laughs> he got all the smoke from every level. Oh no no no, Mark <laughs> Moon Knight. He doesn't. He doesn't want the smoke. He creates the smoke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has a smoke machine that he. He, fucking... he is the smoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, no. he said he wears all white because he wants them to see him coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll he'll take a punch to deliver five. He has no problem. And he, yes, Moon Knight has no problem taking you out. Moon Knight kills. The biggest difference to Batman, Moon Knight will kill you. (laughs) I think Moon Knight's crazy enough that he'll take five punches to throw one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He would would have welcomed Will Smith out there. It's like, no, come on, hit me. Go ahead and do it. (laughs) (laughs) He would have made 16 more jokes after that. So what are his weapons? He um, Cavs mentioned the crescent uh, sling blades or whatever. The moon arcs. Has, the moon arcs. He has, he has a moon he, arcs. He has a copter. He has the moon yeah. copter, he has a plane. which is which is where a lot of the uh, the of some <laughs> of the Batman parallels come to play. Yeah, he has a he has a plane. He has a grappling hook. Sometimes he has like some weird staff crescent yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. It, it's literally so Frenchie is like his, like I said, his Lucius his, Fox. His Lucius Fox. In the comics, Frenchie builds his fucking weaponry. And the copter. Let's not forget, Moon Knight has no powers. Okay. The only thing he has in the comics is Mark Spector is a world-class championship boxer. Yep. He might not have been a boxing champion, but he's at that level in his skill. Okay. He knows- and then everything else is military. Yeah, he's stealth, military guns. trained with guns and stuff with tactics. Yeah. He knows the weak points of the body. Yeah, that's something so, they specified. So he he's not a, a god? He didn't get his powers well, from a god? There, he there just are, got survived? There are moments when the moon is full that his speed he, and strength are enhanced. And at okay. night, and at night, he's at yeah. night, he's stronger, better, faster. Mm-hmm. When the moon is out, he's OP. Morning time, you're not gonna see him much. That's what the tab drive is for. <laughs> yeah. So if, if we do get if if they're not gonna do everything in terms of his personalities, I would at least like to see Jake, the cab driver. I feel like that's a good way to connect us to, to the to the screen and shit. Like Cap said, maybe we don't want that rich guy. We've seen Tony, we've seen Bruce Wayne, like everyone's rich, right? Yeah, Reed, Reed Richards is going to come through. So maybe we see the cab driver. I would love to just see yeah. something like that. I, I have you... a better way to do the rich thing. Instead of instead of overtly being like, well, hey, just so you know, I own 15 fucking companies and publicly traded stocks and Bitcoin and Doja Cat or whatever the fuck they call that shit. Basically, don't be Danny Rand. Yeah. Instead yeah. of doing that, Mark Spector... <laughs> Can tell them, hey, I have weapons caches hidden all over the world. And if you ever need something, you can go in here. There's money, there's weaponry, there's all, the, and he has those places up. That's where he can get his resources. That I think would be a, a little more dynamic. Yeah, what? Because dude, you can have him travel anywhere. And if he, if he's close enough, shit, I need something. I know where to go get it. And he can go get it that way. And you won't what, have the pretentious rich fucking guy. What if he perceives the rich guy as a dream? Because you know how you say he doesn't know reality. Like the rich guy, like he dreams that he's a rich man and and does all this crazy shit. So and we a, that's, think that's it's a dream, and the, then it, that's part of the character. Like yeah. at the end, like he starts blending all of this shit in. Doesn't yeah, even but, know what's real or not. He doesn't even like. He starts to question whether he was ever in the army, whether he did all of that shit with Bushman. He really starts to have these conflicts with him himself. So I think that's why it would be interesting to touch on it. But yeah, it is a again a sensitive subject. Again, Marvel knows how to do these sensitive subjects, but 
Mental illness is like yeah. so prevalent. I don't know. Because I feel like you would start out with him being rich and having the mental breakdown. But see, you know what I'm saying? Just, the, just the only reason I don't want to start out with him being rich is because I don't want people to go, "Hey, they just did Batman." Marvel just did Batman, which will I happen. Wanted to, I wanted to. I want him to establish himself as a fully fledged character, and then you could bring all the other shit in, so that we knock the comparisons out straight out the bat. That that that's just me. I mean, Marvel is obviously going to do whatever they did; they've already done it. But <laughs> that's how I would do it to stop comparisons, because. What's the difference between him and Daredevil? Nothing. Powers. <laughs> like, they're both guys. They put on weird fucking costumes that have religious overtones. They beat up people in the street. Like, they're just... You got to establish him as a... As, we got to find a way to connect us to that character first. And then you can throw in all the weird shit that he but has. The quickest way... The quickest way for us to connect to any character in MCU is to put him in a hallway and have him fuck up 12 to 15 people. <laughs> you put him in a hallway fucking up 12 to 15 people raid style, you got us. That's it. it it's, it's fucking magic in a box. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, now, I mean, would you... I mean, if there's a guy to do with it, Moon Knight is another guy to do it, too. Yeah, you know? Now, yeah. would you be surprised if out of nowhere you see Moon Knight for the first time and somebody just goes... Well, he didn't wear the right color pants. <laughs> Reference to Deadpool. <laughs> you know? It's like, is yeah. that Deadpool? Is that Deadpool? And, you you know, he he hears it, but he's like, like, he thinks he's going crazy. Like, it's another personality, but it's really Deadpool. Because if you have somebody with split personalities and he thinks he's going crazy and doesn't know what's real, why wouldn't you have somebody that can break the fourth wall here? Like, why couldn't he be able to hear somebody that can break the fourth wall? It would make sense with his character. He often looks at himself in like mirrors and it's like kind of studying everything that's going on and shit. So Yeah, I, I wanna I do want to see a scene where Steven and Mark are talking to each other. Yeah. You know? Like like there is literally he's like his Oscar doing one voice and another voice, and he's like, You understand, like he's finally understanding, you understand we're the same. During the day, it's you. At night, it's me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm hoping to see that because it'd be a great thing to see Oscar do both roles and then get those two personalities out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I meant straight off the bat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> straight out the bat. <laughs> you, know, you know, I, you know, a whole panel of Hispanics, my English is not so good. It's not so good looking. Yeah. Being English is un ching malo. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever he said. Yeah. <laughs> it's mucho, mucho, poquito. What? <laughs> what? Okay. There you go. Yeah. Establish that right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it should should be an interesting whole thing. Um, I think, I hope he I hope he gets to use his crescent darts, which is hilarious. Because they're not like the team he throws. There's you know, a scene so. in the trailer where it looks like he grabs it off of his... Because you know how yeah, now the suit like wraps around him. Are, yeah. It looks That's like what he what grabs it off of the thing and can fucking... He throws it, yeah. And then he And then he's like... He catches it like Blade catches his glasses on some... <laughs> Which, by the way, I absolutely love when Blade catches his shades. Especially in part two. Because, first of all, Wichita throws them and they look like they have to weigh at least five pounds. Because he goes... Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just flying to Wichita... To... <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? That's some heavy shade, bro. Yeah, but I think they're both in his chest, and that's he takes them out. That's how he uses them. That's kind of dope. Yeah. So, so, so Moon Knight often says that he can't die. Oh, is he's, that he's because good. is that because you know Kanchu will resurrect him? Yeah. Like Kanchu won't. Kanchu needs him. Yeah, Mark doesn't need Kanchu. Kanchu needs him, and he won't well, let him go. What does Kanchu need him for? To enact his vengeance. There's a, honor, there's a little honor. more. There's a little more to it than that, but essentially, something happened with Kanchu, 
And he's like, I need somebody to go kick the shit out of everybody. And he just so happened to pick Mark. And now until Conchu's satisfied, Mark's got to go kick it. Mark's got to go up on stage and slap Chris Rock. Until Conchu <laughs> is fucking ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? So basically, Conchu is looking for the Punisher, but goes, he's got his own thing. Let me get somebody else. <laughs> like, Because yeah. that seems like if, if the Punisher was Moon Knight, Kanshu would get his rocks off every night. Like, yeah. like my man, my man would be in a gaming chair watching Punisher, just sweating. Ma, turn off the fucking the, the vacuum of streaming here. <laughs> you know, because it, yeah. like that seems like the, you want somebody to go fuck people up. That's the Punisher. But he he picked a mercenary who was dying in the desert. Okay, but well, all right. So, what if the Punisher? Is the drop in this in this show? Oh boy, they have oh, a they boy. have a, a really. There's gonna be a drop. Injury. There's gonna be a big drop, and it's either Blade. It's it's gonna be. I hope it's either Blade or uh, Ghost Rider or Punisher or. I hope it's Squirrel not Squirrel Girl. I hope it's not like Whoa. Doctor Strange though. Like, <laughs> Squirrel Girl, wow, that the be most wonderful. OP hey. character in Marvel history. She fucked she up knows. Thanos. Yo, no, she, she she fucked up um, Galactus. Shit, Yo, I love how they do it every time. She shows up, they cut away, they come back, and the motherfuckers on the ground like, oh, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little did you know the power she summons a fucking celestial. And yeah. just beats the shit out of everybody. We, and... we think that she's just like fist fighting them and jumping around like a squirrel. All of a sudden, you look at her, fucking... she's summoning the god of squirrels. <laughs> it's a massive fuck... acorn falls out of the fucking... The fucking group comes out. <laughs> no, nah, I want to I be like um, one of those Street Fighter combos with the, uh, the, the, uh, the Akuma combo. The lights go out. You see the thing all of a sudden. The raging, the raging demon. <laughs> the raging demon. Yes. Great name, by the way, for a movie. Or how the we called it in. Demon. Or how we called it in the hood. Lights out. Lights out. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. It's and raging all of a demon, sudden, she's also. Also... I'm reading a lot of. Uh, I'm reading a lot of first impressions. There is mixed impressions, but I like this one right here. I've watched the first four episodes of Moon Knight. It's unlike anything we've seen before the MCU. It's a psychological thriller with a touch of Indiana Jones. Love that. It kept me on my edge of my seat the whole time, and Oscar Isaac delivers a mesmerizing performance. Now, hold on. You know, the... Which Indiana? Because if it's Crystal Skull Indiana, then I... No, I... man. You know what they mean. <laughs> you know what they mean. Raiders, Temple. You know what they mean. But, yeah, I mean, I am seeing mixed reviews. Some people are completely saying, hey, this show doesn't even need to exist. And it's like... Do any of the Marvel shows need to exist? See, that's when you get a reply, fuck you. Like, do they? Do any of them really need to exist? I don't think any of them need to exist, but thank you that they're here. Yeah, this right? Is, this is what I don't understand. There's nothing in this world, or not, let's say nothing. There's very little in this world that needs to exist. Yo, exactly. And you know why I say that? Because people lived for hundreds of years without a bunch of shit just fucking fine. Yep, yep. And until until the wheel came along, they fucking survived. Yeah. Did that need to exist? Maybe that's the one thing that like the one of the things that needed to happen, but other than wheel, that, like, the wheel the wheel and fire. Everything yeah, else yeah, yeah. Is arbitrary. Thing. Swimming pools and, and soda and porn. And steak, they need to exist. Not in that order. No, well, not. <laughs> but like the thing, like swimming pools. Do swimming pools need to exist? No, no. Those are great. People don't have a swimming pool, and we're fucking yeah. fine. But they're great. But yeah, so, yeah. So, so, so for what the fuck is with this? It it didn't need. It doesn't need to exist. What for what? All right. Yeah. So, That's, so, so, Cap. Let me say it in a language they can understand, dude. All right. So you for you peanut brain. Wall looking motherfuckers, you eat lead on, on a Tuesday afternoon. Go fuck yourself. That's what Cap's saying. Go you know fuck what else yourself. I saw? You know what else I saw? It says, um, um, okay, Moon Knight first review. New Marvel series is a dark, bloody Oscar Isaac acting showcase. 
Okay, sounds good to me. Yep, critics yep. say the series has received mixed reviews, with some critics praising its star's commitment and others taking issues with its convoluted story. Uh, hello, do you know Marvel? <laughs> what isn't convoluted in Marvel? Just because you can't keep up doesn't mean it's bad. So again, always be careful with reviews and people's opinion. I tend to, I tend to, I try to find good in everything because I do feel in a weird way, there's good in a lot of stuff. Like, I don't remember the last time I thought something was just utter gutter trash, like gutter trash, like Dragon Ball Z evolution, gutter trash. I like don't the happening. Or the village. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it exists. Or the, the Batman, most- as Lay pointed out. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, like, like, hey, wait he's like, what? Hey. He's like, I got that popcorn above me. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I made the like... joke because you, while he was <laughs> naming promo. these, you stretched the promo and the Batman symbol. Right here, too. So, yeah, like, 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 always like be the, careful with reviews, like the cop, man. Like the cop movie we don't mention. You know? You know yeah, you know. And you know what? You know what else? Like Spider Man No Way Home. You know, you know what I, you know what I decided. That's and it's funny, but, but you know it's funny, Cap. <laughs> you still gave it its praise, though. You said, "Yo, this is an incredible movie." I just have problems with it, and that's how it should always be. Like, okay, I always say this example, right? The example, the convoluted review in this case is more because it. Dumb. Whenever you're ready to jump on a podcast, whenever you're ready, yeah. dog. Yo, yo. Whenever you're ready. I just did a Twitter space with him. Yeah. So so now you owe me a podcast jump on. You want to get on this one, you can. Whichever one, let me know, bro. We do this every Tuesday. Yo, for <laughs> real. So, like, one thing I always say about, like, like, reviews, like, there's something, like, I think people have a problem perceiving hype. When something, so saying something is overrated is subjective because someone is going to like that thing and say that it's not overrated. Others won't, you know? So like, for example, Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a great example of this. Elden Ring, new from software that came out, you might have heard of it. So <laughs> maybe this there's is... so many people. There's yeah, like, the, un poquito. yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> we got motherfuckers speaking Spanish over here. So you have tons of people praising the Elden Ring. And then there's some people who just can't take too much positive on one certain thing and they need to bring out their dislikes about it. Hey, we understand that Elden Ring is in a perfect game. Hey, buddy, we get that. But this might be the closest to perfect we got in a while. And that stands for something. So Cap, again, like he, this is the way you're supposed to do things. You need to understand that things might be good, but not for you. And the best example I have this is Dragon Ball Z versus Naruto. So Dragon Ball Z is extremely popular. It's very commercialized. It came here to the States and just blew up. There's people that would go on and be like, oh, Dragon Ball sucks. Naruto's better. And it's like some people don't feel that. If you personally like Naruto better... You can say things like, hey, Dragon Ball Z, not for me. I'm not a fan of three-episode exposition while we're fighting. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. Because Naruto gets to business. They get this. So, like, you can say that. So, like, to me, if you say something like, hey, Dragon Ball is not for me. I like Naruto better. That's one thing. But if you say Dragon Ball is trash and then talk about Naruto is better, that seems a little bit more trolly. And then the more you say it, it's like, bro. Everything could coexist. Everything can exist. Like, th- what is the issue with that? We can yeah. play Elden Ring and we can play Horizon. We can yeah. watch Dragon Ball and we can watch the, uh, Naruto. The, Demons. The, yo, my bad. I'll let you go after this. No, no, okay, okay, okay. The pro, pro wrestling podcast. He has said it many times on here. He doesn't like anime because all of the exposition, mid fights and, and all of that shit. Demon Slayer? Is that Demon Slayer is all exposition mid fight, and it's one of the most incredible animes yeah. I've ever seen. There's there's only a few exceptions to your rule, Cavs. John Cena, the the new RoboCop movie, 
the happening <laughs> and veganism. Now, <laughs> to answer, to, to, hey, hey. Now to answer dumb marks, dumb I respect. Marks, I respect vegans' willpower, bro. I, I respect hey, vegans' willpower. I, I hear you. I hear you. But you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> dumb marks. We so can can fit up to, yeah, we Go can ahead. fit up to ten motherfuckers on here. So there's so four you, the yeah, yeah. Bring Rand, Dan, Tan, Ryu, Ken, Steve, Bat, and whoever you got, you put them on here. We get fit up to ten. We got show who doesn't show up, so that's nine by my count. So oh yeah, well, even the immortal know. Iron Fist. Yes, yes. Let me, that ask, you a too. Let me ask you a question. So <laughs> let me ask you a question. What's up? Let's say you were to be forced to veganism. And I'm going to give you two options of as to what you would miss the most. What would you miss most? Eggs or chicken? It's the chicken. same animal. Chicken. You could go without eggs yeah. before chicken? Yeah. Are you an egg guy? Not really. Okay. No, not really. Okay. I'm, but, the, you, you know, it's like the fucking uh, the chicken colors. Yeah. Yeah, you know, fuck that. I, if I was forced into veganism, it's because 80 people fucked me up and tied me to a chair and someone's feeding me because all oh, my bones are broken. Like, I'm not going down without a fight, bro. This is some real shit here. Yeah. Like, like I'm on some Judge dread, one clip remaining, and I got to go up to the top level and fuck up that bitch who's, who By locked way, me in this. Movie. Yes, great yes. Movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, great like, movie. Like, we do we do in that oh, shit. Oh, Look, bro. You know, yeah. I, I I know a lot of vegans, like yes. surprisingly amount of vegans I know. And the one thing they say they miss the most is cheese. Yo, yo, I, yo I you can't eat cheese. pizza. Yo, vegan cheese <laughs> is garbage. It's not. I've had some good. It's not cheese. cheese. Nope. It's that, not that, cheese. Yo. The consistency is weird, but it tastes like cheese. I've had good vegan cheese. Yo. It doesn't yo. It doesn't yo. It does. It does. That's good. That's it doesn't melt. It doesn't melt. That's what I'm saying. You also. Wait, it doesn't I had melt. good American cheese, and yeah. that's perfect for me. Or yeah. steak, you know? You want to talk respect about veganism? I respect you their talk about willpower. Shit that that doesn't need to exist. No, <laughs> stop! <laughs> stop telling me that your lifestyle is better than the one I have, and yet everything you try to do resembles the shit I already eat. Yeah. Don't give me cheese that's not cheese because you can't have cheese. You picked a lifestyle with no cheese. Stick with it. Yeah. Don't give me a burger that's not a burger. You can't have burgers. Don't fucking bring it up. Can yeah, I tell you? No, so listen, it's, it's funny. You, it's funny you say that, shit. Cap. It's funny you say that, Cap. As much as I respect veganism and like you know their willpower and what they're doing, the one thing I cannot come across: don't put buffalo sauce on cauliflower and call it. Vegan wings. I will yeah, fuck, fuck you. I will fucking deck you. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, fuck Don't you. Don't do that. Cauliflower you, does not taste like everything. You call it <laughs> buffalo cauliflower. Yeah. Don't. Hey, we got vegan buffalo wings. Fuck and you. I pull up and it's. Yo, to, to go off. I need, I need a second. I need a to second. Yo. He's <laughs> collecting himself. Don't fucking cut a cauliflower and call it a steak. It's not a fucking steak. You just cut no. a piece of a fucking plant. I did in, veganism. In other words, I did, ve I did veganism for. I did veganism for a month. I did veganism yeah. for a month. Oh man, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I felt great. I didn't feel greasy. I felt great. But it's like your god level status. And and like and like I I, I try to like during the week I try to just keep it chicken and greens, but then come that week and I want them burnt ends. I want some barbecue. <laughs> Oh, some barbecue, yeah. bro. I want some barbecue, bro. That's a good barbecue. One. So, like, yo, remember we were talking about that shit, so that you just want like do like a food trip, yeah, like, yeah. like, dude, let's just go to Texas and have let's all the it. fucking barbecue there is, and then That's we can it. go to New Orleans and just like I like that kind of shit. It, it's like, bro, you can so like I've seen a a, a, a website that's called you can Google this. Vegans who wear website? vegans who wear leather. What? What? You're not a vegan. It then. Just it should be called just hypocrites.com. Like yeah, saying, exactly. You're not a you're not a you're not a vegan anymore. Virgins who only do anal. <laughs> exactly. like, what the fuck? You're still <laughs> fucking. Yeah. You're still fucking. Yeah. You can save that pussy for whoever you want, but if I enter your ass, you're not a virgin anymore. <laughs> right? You're not, yeah. bro. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, there's a lot of contradiction. 
But again, I do respect the willpower of vegans and people who are plant based. Like, go ahead, do you? I do respect. It's hard. It's hard. It's here's, hard. Here's the thing. No, yeah. that's too. That's, that's. I respect. I respect <laughs> any vegan. Psychotic. Who is one hundred percent vegan? Like you I got an electric you. car. You don't wear leather. No, no. I guess. But I'm, I'm talking about what I've mentioned before. If you call me, if you come up and say you're a vegan. And then you put a burger next to mine. I'm like, you'll never tell the difference. I don't fucking respect you. That's bullshit. I'll tell that because difference. again, stop telling me that my shit's bad, but all the things you do looks like my shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. You don't have willpower because you still want the burger. And let Man, me tell you, you the there's, burger. there's like, a lot of vegans. There's a lot of vegans that just switch out the meat, but they still eat ketchup. They still eat mayonnaise. Like they like yeah. There, like, th- uh, there's a lot of vegan junk food out there that is still fried in oil. You heard? Yep, yep. That shit is just as bad. Now, yep. so, and, so I had, a, I had yeah. a thing about. I, I, I. There was a time I posted this video defending Herbalife people. Right? It was a funny video. I got a lot of Herbalife people that started following me, and they were like, "Yo." We played your video in our meetings. It was hilarious. Thank you so much. None of them ever try to sign me up because I made it apparent that I'm not trying to do this. But like, bro, stop hating on these people. So I have a thing for like these fitness people, right? So like turkey bacon might be healthier for you, but it's not better than real bacon. Get the fuck out of here with that. It's not so fucking bacon. If, if you were honest about it, if you were, if 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 health coaches and vegans were honest about things like, yo, this is not exactly how the real thing tastes, but it's a little healthier. I think that's better. Don't yeah. fucking tell me that yo. your turkey bacon is better than real bacon because it, it is not. No, yo, this this is yo. The only vegan I'll ever eat is is grilled chicken wings because that's like vegan to me. You know what I'm saying? Because the chicken wings are supposed to be fried, but you grill the chicken wings, you put it in some sauce, and grilled give it some blue wings cheese. is vegan. That's that's vegan because it's healthier. You grill a steak or some, you grill some shit, the vegan. Put it on the George Foreman shit. Get the fat out of there. Vegan. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like regular moo cow fuck milk. Put it in some honey nut Cheerios. Vegan because honey nut Cheerios <laughs> good for your heart. You know what I'm saying? That, that to me is the only acceptable <laughs> vegan fucking food that you can eat. I'm, t- I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, fuck that. No, fuck that. Because you can't even drink water if you're vegan because the fish swim in water. You're killing the fish's habitat. Yeah. There's a lot of <laughs> vegan contradictions. Yes, you know, there is. There is. Fuck that shit. I just want to make one thing clear as he as he rants. Deep about fried that. Oreo vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Oreos are technically vegan because no, it's not. not milk. It's not milk that they use for the cream. Oh, right. It's this weird milk powder. And there's like a some vegans will tell you that it's vegan. Some vegans will tell you that it's not. You can Google this shit. Apparently. Oreos are vegan. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Yo, don't take our shit, vegans. Get your own shit. Yeah. I don't buy it. Motherfucker. I'm going to put, e- this, out put this out here before people get the wrong impression. <laughs> now, if you want to choose a healthier lifestyle, by all means. By all, by all means. Yeah. yeah. We're not, I'm good. not knocking you. Go ahead Fuck and eat that. the impossible burger. I, res- I respect ahead. the vegans, bro. No, respect yeah, when you start like- living to 180 years old, then be like, all right, maybe they're healthier. Yeah. You, you're, you're living the same life. You're living the same life. That's like going, this bulletproof vest is is better than better than your bulletproof vest, but they stop the same amount of bullets. To me, that doesn't it doesn't affect like if you had like proof that the this vegan has lived 127 years old and, and acts like a 70 year old, okay, you change the world. But if you're in the same position as anyone who else eats meat, you're not changing shit. It's a placebo effect. I'll tell you this much. It's the placebo think, effect. I think the problem is that vegans and carnivores should stop fighting each other and fight the <laughs> real and fight the real problem, which is mass farming production, where they fucking injecting chickens so that they can have fucking you know muscles and shit. Your chicken bench pressing. They're mass producing. Oh no, my eggs. chicken got a bench press. Like like there's fucking they're literally genetically making 
animals and like eggs and like that's the real problem. Yeah. We can get together and fight that, but don't fight each other. That's what I think. Like I've seen these dumb videos of people having like vegan rallies and some idiot is eating raw chicken in front of them. One of the vegans is like, "Why didn't you cook it?" <laughs> like, yo, it's the yeah. funny it's the funniest <laughs> shit. Like, you could have at least cooked it, bro. You're an idiot. Just what I'm yeah. saying. Let's stop Enjoy hating that each other. Really, you moron. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's asshole. stop let's stop hating on each other and get the real See, problem which is mass no, yeah. production. Oh. The problem yeah. is mass producing all of this stuff. Like if you if a vegan were to tell me, "Yo, if you're going to get your chicken from a reliable source and not some Purdue shit that you find in a supermarket, all right. If you're getting, like, no genetics, no GMOs, homegrown poultry, cool. But, like, we shouldn't fight each other. We should fight the mass production. That's the real problem. The Mondo Burgers of the world, <laughs> if you will. That, that's, what my, that's what I was going to say, leaning towards that. Like I said, I respect... Your life choice. I, I do too. The only reason I have a problem with it and I wouldn't do it, and you we have proof sitting right here, toe tags. I tried to get healthy two separate times. I went eight months, not a drop of fucking sugar. Was I healthier? Yeah. I slept better. My skin looked great. I lost weight. I, all the metrics were there. I was the worst person in the He turned into world. a diva. Like you couldn't tell this man that's shit. Pers- that's mental though. That's nah, personal. that that's that's no. irrefutable proof Dude. that that these it, motherfuckers you... who that shit are assholes. No. It's not just him, it's the world, Craig. So, so I say the... that <laughs> I, I say that because it's like my uh it's like my Spider Man argument. I'm not knocking that... Yeah. I'm not knocking the lifestyle choice. I'm just saying that I personally cannot fucking do it because I read when I, when I did the thing when I did it both times. I read that after six months, you you flush all your shit out and your body no longer craves sugar and, and your mood shit. changes and all that shit. Like I said, I went eight months both times. Nothing fucking changed. Yeah. And the happiest I've ever been in my life was the first fucking Pepsi I had at the end of each fucking trial run. The <laughs> first time I drank a world. Pepsi at the end of those eight months was the happiest I've ever been in my life. This coming, <laughs> this coming, this coming from the sibling of the guy who stopped dripping soda, drank water for four months, and thought it gave him gout or heartburn. Whoa, what was Acid it? reflux. Water gave this guy yes, acid yes, reflux. Yes, that is yes. the craziest shit yeah. I've ever heard of. No, no, no. It water try I, I try to kill me. You know what I'm saying? No, it's serious. I went, I went, what is it, four months without soda. And nothing changed for me. Nothing changed for me. I was, you know, whatever. Did you get and a then, physical to confirm that? No, no, yeah. My doctor, my doctor, when I first went to her, she took my blood test and everything. And she's like, every you, all your numbers are perfect. The diabetes, all that other shit's That's perfect. That's the worst thing a doctor could tell so, you because you're so, going to go eat eight no, burgers right after so, that. So I told her, I told her, I said, I, I cut out the soda. I cut out this. I cut out that. I started limiting my calories. She cut it again. And she goes, your numbers are perfect. No, I didn't cut out the calories. I just cut out the soda. She goes, your numbers are perfect. You can't get any more perfect than this. So I went back to soda. Everything was fine again. When I started doing the drinking water, the fucking cutting the calories and all that other shit, now I got a fatty liver, acid reflux. It's like fucking my my spine is compressed. Like it, like I lost fucking hair. I could have swore I was five four. Now I'm five three. Like nah, like like vegans are popping out of the fucking woodwork. You know what I'm saying? Like oh like God. I'm getting I'm getting emails about fucking vitamins and supplements and all that other bullshit. I'm like yeah, wow. th- like this this isn't fucking like like I'm getting Groupon coupons for Chicago. I don't live in Chicago. What it's because of the fucking water that I, I spent six months fucking drinking, and it's <laughs> fucking it's fucked up my life. You know, and and this is why I take this shit personal because I know it fucked up most of y'all. Lives, you just don't admit it. Yeah. You think it's a mouse? You sitting there looking at God, blaming him? It's the fucking water. You ever heard? You ever heard there's something in the water? There was never nothing in the soda. 
<laughs> Let's just get that shit straight. There's never nothing in the soda. Number yeah. sugar. Cabin yeah. fever? Cabin fever? What turned all those motherfuckers into zombies? Water. The water. The, the water. beer was fine. The beer was fucking fine. Yeah, you want to space? Oh, the way. Space Cowboys. They asked me, oh, you didn't like what you were when you were drunn? Fuck that. I loved who I was. It was the other people who had a problem. He yeah. started drinking water. What happened? He hated himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How funny is this? For me. We both tried to, to do something healthier for a few months. Toe tag shit <laughs> fucked him up. My shit fucked everybody else up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. So I tried veganism for a month. I wasn't miserable at all. I actually felt great. It's just, man, like, oh. At the very least, I need some chicken. At the very least. And that, that shit got to be burnt. Burnt. Not like Kenny's chicken that's just fucking medium well. No, 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 no. Please, no. Chicken, steak, medium well. Chicken, burnt. Like, like if we at the barbecue, I'm going for the blackest piece I can find. And oh, but it's burnt. No, 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 no. It's charred. I'm like, yo, I love blackened chicken. They put the blackened so- like uh, powders all over it, and then they fucking grill that bitch. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the uh the beer barack because you want you want yours fried burnt that shit a damnation for it, real it, it works burn it <laughs> give me there, give, give me some it's just yeah chicken is your yeah, chicken yeah. is just so good yeah chicken it, is good hit something I'm gonna say that might get me canceled oh boy after what I just said <laughs> I mean you're you were halfway joking like I'm fully serious about this oh no I'm that's it go ahead <laughs> The 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 farming thing you mentioned, yeah, I couldn't care fucking less. Once we domesticated cows and chickens, and they're no longer like just free range, just you don't see a cow just born on a fucking plane in in Arizona or some shit. Sure, sure. Once we did that, they are bred to fucking die. That's it. I don't give a shit how you treat them. I don't give a shit what you put on them. Because we all have a we all have an expiring clock. And it don't matter how good, how well, how healthy. When it expires, it expires. So it doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter. At the, right. at the end of the day, people in the mother country were like, like you know, they eat off their farms. You know, the cows, the chickens. As long as your chicken isn't spruced up with a million fucking things, that's cool, man. Go get your chicken from a butcher. Yo, like that. Put the steroids in there. I, I like to lift a car one day. Yo, <laughs> you know the, the fucking the fruits and vegetables have the DDT on them and and all the pesticides and all the other shit on them too. Yo. They they be injecting shit like you ever seen an apple this big? My coworker comes to work with them shits like it's <laughs> it's the size of my fucking head like a it's no, like, totally, a, gi- totally like a giant you, apple. So totally, like you think they ain't putting nothing in that bitch? Look at you know, it. Yeah. 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 But you worried about my fucking chicken. But that's the main problem is all of these, like, again, vegans and carnivores shouldn't fight each other. They should fight the mass production. Vegans, if vegans really wanted to take up a cause, go fight the motherfuckers that are hunting lions. Because they're they're the ones being extinct, uh, you know, extinct. Because they're, they're doing it for sport. We don't eat lions. The fuck is that? You, 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 yeah. That's what a watermelon really looks like when grown in the wild, untouched by man. That's what the fuck we eat now. Yeah. Go ahead, vegans. Tell me you eat the first one. Tell me yeah, you I'm eat not, the original shit. I'm not touching that, that first one. No, yeah, I don't know. That shit look like somebody's teeth. The, the only reason I bring it up is because I'm not talking about GMOs or I'm not talking about like steroids or shit. You, us humans, have learned how to breed plants. Mm hmm. And get different results. Bananas yeah. didn't look like they used to. Watermelons don't look like they like. Chocolate they used don't to. look like that. We made them the way we saw fit. So don't fucking tell me that the original blah blah blah. You ain't never eaten original shit anyway. Yo, Krills, right. Krills, Krills went to Jamaica yeah. and he ate a green banana. How we see a platano, a plantain, green. Yeah. And like, dude gave him a green banana, and Chris was like, "Yo, what are you doing? This shit is like not even ripe." He's like, "Yo, eat it, bro." He said it was a regular banana. So like, yeah, things are different. Again, we went on a vegan tangent. It's it's easy to do. 
It's easy to pick on the vegans again. I respect the vegans. Vegans ain't bothering nobody. Stop, yeah. co stop covering the traffic, though. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just don't. I don't think anybody protesting should cover the traffic unless it's like a real deal situation. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, just, I respect I did it for a month and I had to stop, bro. I just couldn't. Here's the thing. I will invite if any if, if anybody in the stream watching knows somebody or is vegan themselves, come on here. Talk shit about. I don't know about these guys, but talk shit about me and my lifestyle. Go ahead. Free reign. This ain't a. I mean, yeah, I would. Hey, street. I'd, I'd I can it. take the fucking come on here and say. Your I mean, shit. listen, I'd welcome it, and I would repeat what said, Peacemaker. Uh, I respect your opinion, even though it's a dumbass fucking opinion, but I respect your opinion. Yeah. And if you yeah, got I'm some like good, that, chicken, you, know, you you say what you say, and I'd be like, you know what I'm saying. I take that point, but I could give a rat's ass. You kind of like the Will Smith thing. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate your input, but go fuck yourself, and I don't care. Yeah. No, no, no. I want some. No, I want some chicken wings. Right. Shit. <laughs> I had some, some chicken wings before we got on here. With some ranch. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah. You can have we ordered, we ordered we ordered pizza at the job today. Like they ordered pizza for the floor. Nice. I fucked up like eight slices. Motherfuckers didn't see me coming. Nope. There were there were many slices. It was like fancy pizza, kind of uh, like Nap Napoleon style. You know that Napoleon pizza? Yeah. So there were small slices, but they were delicious. And you know, I was just Yo. motherfucking. So you basically over. had like two and a half real slices of pizza. Uh, up, yeah, I would three, three, right. three. Yeah, Cabs, I'm, it's funny the way you talk about food. I almost want to say, do you, do they not feed you, at, <laughs> or do you just wait to gorge in like one sitting? Because it kind of sounds like you don't eat and then sh then you do. <laughs> so 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 I I no no, no it's vegan. And great so question, eats. great question, and I, I've said it on the podcast before. So again, like, at, at, and, and this was the pizza was just like a one time thing at work. I need to keep my energy going. I'm on the phone. I got to talk to people. I got to book them. I got to be high energy. Today was a rough day after those eight slices. It was a rough, <laughs> like when I carb up and I, you know, I was mass sugar and all of that shit. I don't feel like, like, bro, people call me. I'm like, man, I don't want to talk to nobody, you know? <laughs> so, like, when I eat, I just I don't bother me. So, during work hours, I'm like, I'm a saint. Water, no sugar in my coffee. I kind of prefer coffee black at this point. I just kind of got used to it. So, and, you know, greens and, and, and you know, light meats, ayo. But I got to keep it light. Now... What I told you happened during this weekend with the burnt ends. I just ordered seventy dollars of barbecue, son. I'm I'm Jekyll and Hyde, bro. I'm telling you, all the ladies that serve the food at work for us, they're like, "Oh, look at you. you're on a diet." I'm like, "Bro, I ain't a diet. I just if I eat what I want to eat, I'm gonna pass out. So the minute I get home, bro, I'm having a rum and coke. It's it's just two things, but like I do." During the week, I do try to keep it nice. I'm drinking just because it's so rough. To, and I'll usually drink a Coke Zero, at least try to avoid the sugar. But soda, soda, soda. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. Soda, soda, soda. Yep. But like I try to keep it nice during the week. But come the weekend, boy, I transform. Altered beast power up. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm walling. Like I, I hit them. I hit them coupons. I hit them Burger King coupons. I just um um the barbecue was Saturday, so Friday I got home. Well, Friday I work from home. I finished work, went straight to fucking Burger King. So that's what I do. So like that's why I be trying to tell Toe, like if you want to drink soda, go for it. Just balance it out with water. Yeah, there's I, I have the IC mix. So, you know, there's a gallon of water and then yeah. you know some of the IC mix in there. So that's I try to work on and it. Plus the ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try to work. That's what, I try to work on back. You have to go fix something over there. The sink is leaking or something. I try to do that. Like 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 at the job, if I'm talking, I'm I'm talking all day. I'm hitting the vape. So I'm hella thirsty. Mm -hmm. If I drink soda, that's not gonna do nothing. I need to keep talking. So, like, I drink hella water at the job, but my water, nah, I drink water at home, too, when I'm, like, 
doing stuff, you know, like, you know, I might get a little dry mouth if you know what I mean, you know? Mm. So like I drink a lot of, I drink a lot of water because I like water, but it's also a good balance. Drink some soda, bro. It's fine. Nobody, bro. That's the one thing, man. We all scared of carbs. We all scared of meat. We all scared of sugar soda, bro. No, enjoy your life. Have a day or two. Just don't fucking do it every day is where I come from. And where I come from is do it every day because in the end, we all wind up in the ground. No, I don't do it every day. I I don't do it every day. I do it every night, every afternoon. (laughs) You know, (laughs) in the daytime, I drink something else. Yeah, I have my juice or something. There's water in nice tea. See, and see, look at, see, look at, see, look at, so, so I have literally seen videos of you passing out at work. But that's not, that had nothing to do with the soda. That has everything to do with the fact that I'm getting two hours of sleep. Even if I was on water, I still be. So, 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 so not even water. So you don't think it's like the huge meal that you have for lunch? Nah. No. no. Nah. I seen this man. What, what was it? Um, uh, Monday. He didn't yesterday. go to he didn't yeah yesterday I'm I don't know what days are yeah he didn't go to work all right he had a little bit of sleep he's playing Elden Ring yeah he's farming for some ruins yes. and he's doing this while playing I'm like yo 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 yeah <laughs> you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna lose all your runes bro you're gonna lose all your runes get up yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> my I've issue is him. like a yeah I've seen him. On a Saturday, sleep until 3 p.m., <laughs> get up, come in the living room, watch me do something. 4.30? <sighs> <laughs> He's in his chair. <laughs> See, my, I, I don't know what it is, bro. I, don't, I just don't think I got it in me no more, right? Like, son, I eat even the light. Bro, I could eat a burger, fries, and soda, like, during midday. I don't want to. I, I want to just chill. You know what I'm saying? And like, is that's dangerous. And like, I, I hit, I try to run, I try to hit the gym just so I could stay a little active. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a healthy person. I'm not trying to instill a healthy lifestyle on anybody. I just have a weird balance that works for me. You know, keep it clean during work hours. Weekend, go off. That's how I live life. Yeah. It's not always successful. Sometimes I have a pizza. Sometimes I get home, get some wings. I love wings if I haven't made that apparent. Son, I'm upset. Remember what I was telling you about the uh, wing stop? Yeah. They stop with the thighs again. They stop selling them. I can't Uber East no thighs no more. Fucking racist. So th- it's a thigh shortage. Yeah. Kevs, you might not be able to Uber eat thighs, but you can Craigslist them. That's a different type of thighs. Hey, that's a different type of thighs. We used to call it, we used to call it back page. Back page was oh god. I never I never got there, thank God. But yeah, son, you know, and yeah, we went on a weird tangent for like 45 minutes. But but yeah, that's what Moon Knight does. We went into another personality of the show. Yeah, again, bro. Like I enjoy some good eats. I enjoy to eat. Yeah, but man, just it's it's. But my problem is at work, bro. You get look, son. Today I had them slices, and I knew it as I was eating them. I knew what I was doing to myself. Mm -hmm. And bro, I just just, just wanted to get out of there. Productivity was not as high as it should be. (laughs) Feel me? Like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get bitched at tomorrow. John, what happened yesterday? Y'all motherfuckers got pizza. That's what happened. We should try to get us a fucking salad from time to time. Yeah, you know what you should tell them? You should tell them, like, you probably sat me next to a fucking vegan and they sucked the life out of me because they're not having real nutrition in their ass. (laughs) That's what it was. And and, and the sugar really fucks me. Like, I could have sugary coffee and I'm up for three, four hours. But after that, I'm passing out. So, like, I and and I was doing that keto diet stuff. Yeah. and, And... I start. I got used to black coffee. I got. I just got used to it. It's quick. It's simple. So I just kind of got used to it. I prefer coffee black. I legit like even at my crib. I'll drink coffee black. I just kind of got used to it. I know it's gross. You you do get used to it. If it's warm, it's good. And if you make the coffee correctly, it's good. But like I just got used to it. And like I drink hella water. 
the only time I'm drinking soda, I'm mixing a drink. Although I did get a nice little cream soda for the barbecue. You, you gotta have cream. To. You gotta have cream soda or root beer for the barbecue. You have to. You have to. Yeah, bro. Like I live, I live that balanced life. You know, I wild out on the weekends and I'm a saint during the week. Yeah, you yeah. know, I live what I live my life one can of soda at a time. Yo, so how many how many <laughs> sodas you drinking in a day? How many bottles? I mean, you literally just pulled up a two liter. No, well, all right. So it depends. It depends. Like, um, if like you're talking about work day or like if I'm off work day, work day, I can have two cans of soda through the through the the day. It will be lunch and then like, like after lunch just to to have something to drink. And then when I get home, yeah, when I get home, it'll probably be a quarter to a half of a two liter. Now when you, the, now when you off, you could rock a whole two liter in a day. When I'm off, surprisingly, I don't eat or drink as much. I I, I hear you on that. I hear you on that. You know, like you kind of you're kind of just chilling. You're not moving around, yeah. therefore you're not getting hungry. Yeah, yeah. I hear so you. I'll I hear you. I'll I'll have like you know maybe like if I'm if I have lunch, I'll have the soda with me, whatever I had like the one can or whatever or the, the the meal, the large soda and shit like that. But I like that week I had off, I only had lunch twice. Every other time, like, I'm just sitting there chilling. Like, you know, I'm not even that fucking hungry. Yeah. You know? So it was like, you know, whatever. But I've throughout the work... When I'm, yeah, playing, when I'm playing video games, and I'm just like... That's another thing. During the weekdays, I get home 7, 7.30, sometimes 8. I, I got enough time to take a bath, eat some. Before I know, it's 10.30. Feel me? Yeah. Like, Tuesdays, I've managed to clear out for the podcast and shit. But I'm still pulling up at 7.30 to the house, you know? So... Yep. I've noticed that like during during the during like that, like I'm all right. Like, you know, I could just like when I'm doing stuff, I don't wanna eat. Like I'll be playing video games for six hours. I don't even touch the vape. I'm just I'm I'm zoned into the game. So like I won't eat before I know it. I'm playing six, seven hours. I haven't eaten nothing. I'm like, damn, I gotta eat something. So yep. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. During work, you get bored. You want to walk around. You yeah. want to go outside. Outside leads to a bacon, egg, and cheese. I get you. Yep. Or yep. Or, or a bear claw or a knish mm -hmm. or a gyro. Oof. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. And the, and the dollar can of soda is cheaper than the dollar twenty five bottle of water. That's fucking. And it's nuts. hard. It's hard out here for a pimp. You know what's the best? You order a sweet tea cup at McDonald's and just fill it up with soda. That's a dollar <laughs> that's soda. It. That's it. Shit, you know the fucking game, bro. You know the that's, fucking game. That's a dollar soda right there. I don't that's know it. if you could still do that, but well, I if I'm not mistaken, they had the sale that any size soda was a dollar. I don't know that if they still do that for McDonald's. Right, that shit well, gone. Right. well, yeah. What's up, RKH? But yeah, you know, that's that anyway. McDonald's soda to me is healthy because that's 90% water. That's ice. You know what I'm saying? Like the ice is melting into the soda, which kills the molecules or whatever's in there. So you get most of the soda. You get flavored soda. There's no difference between you drinking a fucking bottle of water that has the lemon in it than soda with mad ice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I do a lot of infused water. Yeah. See, so logistically, we're drinking the same shit. It, I mean, infused water technically does have natural sugar from fruits. Eh? It, it. I mean, it doesn't have all that other carbonated shit. But I drink a lot of, at work. At work, we got like a little side of infused water. I I like infused water. I, I like it. I, I can't take all that shit. Tastes like metal to me. I got it. Trust and me, I, I got it. And you can ask Totex. I when I used to, because now it's just cheaper to get the regular drinks. But when I used to buy water, I drink that shit by the case. Yeah. I'd sit here with like three bottles and finish the fucking three bottles as we're doing this. The only the only reason I don't have my pat in a cup of water is because I'm having drinks today. By the way, shout out to Jack Skellington. But like, yeah, like I usually you can see you can see the 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 picture back there where my son is. That's a little Jack Skellington right there on my fingers. It's, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's with, my boy. I see the eyes. Yeah, that's my dog. But like, like if it was, I'm usually just drinking water on a podcast. You know, I water's good. I like water. I like water. I like room temp water too. I'm I'm kind of moving away from like ice and stuff. 
Obviously, yeah. in a mixed drink, you need some ice. You do, but like, I'm trying to move away from like I'm the cool ice. With, I'm I, cool I, with room temp as well. I, I, yo, give me a room temp bottle of water any day. It's just getting gone. It's done. So it's just a balance. So back to Moon Knight. What kind of diet you think Moon Knight has? Oh, he's a savage. He kills. He kills the fucking dogs in the streets and eat them raw. He's he's eating them raw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's eating them raw. I saw, with a I little see- bit of ranch because you know he keeps ranch in his pocket. You can't tell it's white. You guys are ranch or blue cheese? I, I'm blue cheese. I don't think Cap said anything. And neither. So here's the funny thing about me. Since we're what do you what do you, what do you what do you dip your wings in? No one. He doesn't I only eat-, eat white meat chicken. Okay. Two wings aren't white meat. He don't like the bones. Okay. No, nah, if it's on a bone, it's not white meat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wait a minute! Wait a minute! I was so close. Chicken breasts have white meat. You got bones. When I get the so chicken you, breast, it's just meat. You you you're a boneless wing kind of guy. No, I don't like wings. Period. Okay. But um, I also I don't <laughs> like my food to be wet, so I okay. don't put sauce okay. on any of my shit. Is there a sauce that you do use anytime? Ketchup. The one the one I would use, depending on how I feel, sauce. is maybe A1. Okay. Yeah. Like so ke- you- I don't I don't consider ketchup <clears throat> I don't consider ketchup wet because it's like it, the one I get at least is is thick enough to not to not feel like I threw liquid on my food. Have you ever had a wet burrito? I, I don't eat burritos. This guy is picky. It, no, I'm not picky. I just, I find what I like and I stick in that pocket. Yeah, I hear you. I, but you I do that t- with everything. I find one, like I find one way to drive somewhere. That's the only way I drive. I don't, I, I don't it. do multiple shit. You I can ask toe tags. Don't rock the boat. No, no, it's not even about rocking the boat. My, my brain, and the, and all the, the learning disabilities and shit I have. It's, I don't do well with massive amount of information. I was trying to guide Toteg. You 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 could have gotten me. You're a fucking genius the way you speak to us on the daily. You're smart as shit. I I overcompensate a lot. <laughs> oh, you, you trying but, to do some Kaiser Soze shit over here? No, no. As, as Toteg, I try to guide him to a spot, and I literally could not do it. I couldn't tell my right from my left. I couldn't tell where I couldn't recognize where where he was in the fucking thing as because you got the video. route here that you do like yourself. No, no, no. Like, I've never seen this route. Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So, so he's watching I, a video while I'm doing it, and he's trying to GPS it, and he's like, he's like, go left, go right, and it's like the opposite direction. So yeah. it's it's like I almost got to go where he's pointing. So I got to look at him while I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> and then he goes, I've never seen this place before. I'm like, well, this is the fucking place you told me to go. <laughs> no, you and know he literally is. had to do it himself. And then I had to watch him do it to get where I'm going. Here's the, here's the thing. If you, if, if you would have ever read. So they, they tested me when I was younger for all different learning disabilities and shit like that. I got dyslexia and some other shit. If you read the packet. Of what is actually like wrong with me? There's no way I should be a functioning human being. That's what I'm saying. You're so articulate and well spoken, kid. Like I would never know. I would never know. I, I've learned. I've learned t- uh, trips. I can't even fucking speak now. Tricks and tips on how to navigate certain areas. I rely mostly on memory of shit, mm-hmm. but. Like learning certain learning things, I if if I don't pick it up, I'm never gonna fucking get it. That's so interesting, man. Yeah. You're such a smart guy. I mean, you know, in my opinion. You, 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 know, know, you know what it is, is, you know what it is? It's like you have to tell them this is what I want to get accomplished, and then let them figure it out himself. Yeah, like every time. So the weird thing is like your IQ and your intelligence. Doesn't directly Very. correlate to all the other shit. Correct. Because I have, I'm like a slightly above average, like 116, like nothing really big. But the, uh, so like Toe would turn around and be like, hey, this is what I want. 
and he'll explain, like, I want a new logo, and he'll explain it. And to me, he might as well be speaking Mandarin. I cannot <laughs> picture what the fuck he's talking wow, about. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> until, I, until I can figure and, out. But, but the thing is, if I were to be doing it and going, fuck, I don't know how to make this circular, he'll be able to sit here and do exactly what I need to yeah. do. Okay. I need to, fi- I need, the best way for me to learn is to figure out how I can do a certain task. Okay. And then once I figure that out, I'm gold. Yeah. Okay. I can do whatever you need. And to then do. you keep that same method yeah. all the time. Dude, okay. Perfect example. I, when I was going to BCC, the community college, I, I took my math class in the summer. I went to BCC as well. That's <laughs> hilarious. Uh, yeah. So I took my math class in the summer. Everybody had a hard time with that math class. I passed flying colors. And they asked me, how the fuck you pass? And I was like, simple. Whatever the teacher put on the board and did, that's exactly what I did. I didn't try to do no other shit. I didn't try to bring in a calculator or nothing. If he said, this is how you do the problem, that's how I did it. And I just exchanged the numbers for whatever. I just changed the numbers out whenever I had Where, to. Uh, it was um, BCC was right there on University in Jerome, yep. right? Mm, yep. Yeah. I, I went there straight out of high school, um, 2003 and 2004. Uh, I, tra- yeah. <laughs> I transferred technically from the Navy. To BCC, nice. So that school was so crazy. I remember. Um, so you would go in the bursars was right to the left. You go a little bit and you keep going to the left. The all of the art stuff was on that side. I did a lot of That's drawing. Me. Yeah, I did a lot of drawing, uh, computer graphics. I did yeah. all of that shit, man. I, yeah, t- I, I, t- I told you that I had that professor Tammy who used to date the yakuza. She was Japanese. That was my drawing teacher. Yep. And like That's she, my drawing teacher too. Yeah, Tammy, son. Yeah. yeah, son. She was the best. She would tell us all the Yakuza stories, bro. Yep. It was so cool. And she would bring in, she would bring in live models to draw. And there was this really like big, older uh black lady that she would bring in all the time. And oh my was, yeah. I had to like, draw. I, too. She was like, I love, I love when she comes because you know it was more to draw. There was like this really skinny Russian girl that she would bring in as well. You guys want to hear a disgusting story? So the skinny, the skinny really. Russian girl, the skinny <laughs> Russian girl comes in, right? And she goes, "Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom." She comes back in her robe. She sits like she puts her butt on the desk, stands up like that, and gets on top of the desk. And we're drawing her. <clears throat> I'm looking at her backside. I, I see nothing but her butt. Completely naked, this girl. I'm 18 years old. Should I draw or whatever? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I'm so I'm drawing, right? And on the inside of her left leg, I see a, a, a drop of blood, just like dropping. Hey, dropping. Yo. Yeah, dropping. This is real deal. I go to Tammy. I'm like, yo, Tammy, I think she got cut when she I'm 18 years old, so I'm an idiot. I think she got cut when she was like getting on the desk and she sat on it. It's BCC. Desks are in good conditions yeah. at yeah. all. Yeah. So, and Tammy goes, I don't think that's a cut. And I'm like, and my boys is looking at me like, I'm like, oh, and, <laughs> and, we're, and we're all, we're all, this is all silent. Like we're drawing. So homegirl, it's, yo, it's 25 minute poses. This girl is holding this pose for 25 minutes. She finishes the pose. The blood drop was already on her ankle. And she goes, can I have a second, guys? She fucking goes to the bathroom, did some stuff, comes right back out. And it's like, did you clean yourself? Did you plug up? Because I don't see a string. And we continue to draw this girl. There was an older uh, white gentleman as well with a huge belly and the smallest penis you've ever seen in your life. Yo. And Tammy would be like, Tammy would be like, I need you to draw that dick. Yeah. You know, yeah. She, yo, in your age, I need you to draw that dick. Like, yo. draw it. And I'm like, yo, Tammy, I can't so even sad. see it. Yeah, bro. I was there, bro. I was there, yo. man. I was there. She yelled at me. We had four different male models, and she yelled at me every time yeah. because I would draw the entire body except that. No dick. Yeah. And when she'd be like, oh, how come you're not drawing that? And I was like, I always told her, I was like, you gotta leave something for the imagination. 
Let the talk. fans fill in what they want to see. <laughs> she, used to, bro, she used to come into my ear. So like at, when me and her started getting cool, hey. Tammy would come up to him and be like, you better draw that dick. And I was like, <laughs> it's like, all right, Tammy, I'm going to draw the dick, bro. And I'm just here looking at a man's balls. But it was all for art, you know. And Dude, you the know. first time she did that, the first time she did that to me, I'm drawing, I got the outline. I, you know, I captured him fucking well. They actually put it up in the art show. The, the, in that little exhibit room? Did. Yeah. <laughs> so I still didn't draw the, I didn't draw any of his parts, but I'm doing that. She whispered that to my ear. And I did that. I, without skipping a beat, I went, okay. And when she left, I put the fucking chalk down and I just ran out the clock. And every time she came up, every time she came up, I picked it up and I was like, I had to erase. I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure it, I get it proportioned. Right, right she time. Leaves, Geographically. I can hear Tammy just come up to me. You better draw that dick. And I'm like, <laughs> she, you, but she was the coolest. She was the coolest professor ever. Yeah. She used to rock a leather jacket. She used to smoke. And yo, Tammy she was the best. Say, if you're a real artist. And you're wondering if you should buy the paintbrush or your next meal, you better throw away that meal and buy that paintbrush. Yeah, man. She was real. I used to <laughs> she used to have a lesson where we used to use um it's like black chalk. Oh no, it's like, it's uh, charcoal. Yeah, charcoal. That's what the word I was looking for. And she would be like, yo, I want you to draw the model without taking your hand, without taking the chalk off the paper. So it was like we're literally there and like like if you want to get to another side of something, you need to like draw a line and get there and like Trace share it, it up. It yeah. The and she did this one cool thing where we like drew a picture. My best drawing was the the Russian girl and she was sitting on a chair and I caught her backside. Extremely dramatic. Tammy was like, I love this, Jonathan. And we cut it out into clay and we put it into a kiln. And and like we had like sculptures of it, man. Tommy was a fucking shit, Yo, dude. The best drawing I did, I did left handed. Nice. When she told us to do left handed, she came yeah. up and was like, "You're so soft with your left hand. It looks so much better." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm a righty though." Yeah, yo, Tommy was the best. <laughs> I, I used love to you. Have, Shout out to Tammy. So I used to have my clay mask that I made when when she yo when she got bored, she would be like, "All right, well, let's go down and do some pottery." Yeah, let's go to the kiln. Yeah, yeah. all the time. I used to have it until until my dog fucking broke it. Well, he got excited one day and knocked something over and it fell. But I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, don't let the narrative fool you. Me and Cap are the same person. We agree on everything. Don't That's let it. the narrative fool you. I'm telling you. That's it. I'm telling you. And me and Leia are the same person. Yeah, we, both bald. Yep. We eat meat and we yeah, don't ex we don't accept exquisite beards. <laughs> yes, this is true. This is true. Y'all got some really nice beards, man. My beard don't connect. Right here, bro. It's so annoying. That little part right there kills me. It's so frustrating. This side is perfect. I mean, if I were to, you know, shape it up and shit. But that shit fucking kills me. When I was younger, I got into a fight and I got scratched really bad right there. And I guess that's why I don't grow. Mm. It was a really bad scratch. I was like 12, 13. It was shit. a really bad scratch. My beard doesn't know what color it wants to be. I'm, I'm getting those two looks. looks and it's look, gonna... look, look. I'm getting the whites. I'm getting the whites. Yeah. Really? I think yeah. I'm getting mine. I think they're growing it. I don't know. Can you tell? I don't I know, man. Tell. I don't. I don't see it, man. Show you and Krills are the same. You and Krills are the same. Yo, yeah, I mean, movies, after yeah. after we watched after we watched that that one movie, you had the exact same reaction. Yeah. I can't say you're you. you're the Riddler, bro. From but from the Batman movie, not not from the <laughs> comics. You're the Riddler from the Batman movie. Jim Carrey. <laughs> no, 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 no! Whoever the fuck this was in Mark in Hanna? in the back, yeah, yeah, Mark Hamill, whatever the fuck, <laughs> Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill, yeah, Ave Maria. yeah, that motherfucker. That's who you are, show. We really just went on an hour about all of this. I would have like we got a couple minutes left. We could do some Moon Knight and then go to the bullshit because yeah. everything we do just turns into the Tone Show show. <laughs> I love the Tone Show show though, man. I really do. That's I my think shit. Pretty much it's hammered it's home. Isn't the host bar? Yeah. So yeah, last, last, that's what I'm saying. Closing statements. What are you guys expecting out of Moon Knight? What do you want to see? What are you nervous about? What are you hype about? Just give a, a, a little wrap up 
a paragraph, I guess. All right. So the thing I'm most excited to see is I want to see just how far Marvel slash Disney dips their toe into the TVMA. Yeah. Because this is supposed to be a, a stronger rating yes. than all the other ones. I want to see how they handle it and what they think the higher rating stands for. Because I know they put Daredevil and all the Netflix shit, but that was done sans Kevin Feige. And behind the uh, password wall. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I did my thing. I had to do it. And now I had to put. Yeah, I had to put a passcode in. I didn't, for me to I didn't watch anything. One. They asked me. They were like, shit. "Yo, yeah." They were like, "Yo, put a passcode for no, this." Like, I I hadn't. I didn't have a chance to skip it. Hmm? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I go. I have to. Like I had to put a pin number. Not me. It's crazy. Wow. It asked me if I wanted to, and I was like, "No, I don't want to do that shit." I had to put a pin number. <laughs> I don't. Maybe I didn't see the option. I mean, I mean, Cap, Cap, has some, Cap has some crazy shit because he he bought the tickets for the AEW uh, Grand Slam show on pre order without a pre order code. <laughs> this is the guy that has a learning disorder. The guy's smarter than everyone in this fucking podcast. He he, he hacked Again. into the he hacked into the mainframe and bought pre order tickets without the code. Kaiser, Kaiser Cap, Kaiser Cap, yeah. Cap yeah. Soze. He's over. He's like, yo, I hadn't. There was no option for me to put in the code. Man, Cap Soze. Every time I went to the, to put the shit in, they they said, no, stop right here, Mister Spanish man. Put in the code. He Cap got Soze. it. Yeah, he got it. No code. I I'm gonna start calling you Cap Soze. That's my, intel- <laughs> my intelligence is separate from my ability to learn. To, shit. to learn. You're right. You're right. You're right. So okay, uh, Cap, give me a pie in the sky theory. High in the sky, like like really off the wall craziness. Off the wall craziness. Ghost Rider and Nightmare show up. Nightmare. Yeah, and that's how Dude. it ties. That's how they tie this into the Doctor Strange section. Dude, we hadn't mentioned Nightmare this entire freaking no, podcast. Well, yeah, well. you got up and like went no, to yeah, the bathroom yeah. or something. I remember yeah, yeah. Nightmare from Marvel versus Capcom. My man was the whole fucking screen. Or is that Blackheart? No, that's Blackheart. It's Blackheart. Blackheart. It's Blackheart. He was Blackheart was horrible in Ghost Rider. What are you talking about? Hit the way he videotaped the bag floating in the air. Like that was really wrong yeah, movie. Was good work. Wrong, huh? yeah. American Beauty. I see where you're going with it. I see where you're going with it. I see where you're going with it. That was cute. Go ahead, so <laughs> what you want to see, what you thinking, and pie in the sky theory. Yeah, sorry. So what I'm excited for is the fact that we got a new character. Yo, hundred percent. You know, one hundred percent new character that that wasn't an incarnation anywhere else. They they can introduce a new world with us. The one thing I don't want to see is a bunch of fucking shit that happened before current events, like the flashback shit. All right, let's flash back to the important shit, how it became, and let's uh, and let's grow with them. I don't want a TV show that we go, if this was 12 episodes, this would have been awesome. Yeah. You, know, you have right. six episodes. Give that's me six a, episodes that are worth it. That's such yeah. a good point, man. You know? That's a really good point. And that was the biggest problem with Boba Fett. Yeah, that shit really scarred you, brother. Yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah. You have not stopped talking about it. Yeah, because That shit yeah. fucked you up. Yeah, because I'm I, I was hyped for Boba Fett because of the Mandalorian. I'm like, all right, we're finally gonna get to see a badass Boba. Nope. We saw a badass clone that was fucking adopted by the Pikes that the, now's the that now's a re- really yeah, cool. that now's retired and wants to go by respect. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. All right. Beautiful. The Mandalorian's here. That's the highest part of the of the season. The Mandalorian and the giant kaiju that he fought with. Best parts of the season. I want this. If it's not going to be action packed, I want this to be story rich, but the story to be captivating. You know, like there's some characters that you don't need action for, but you can be drawn into their psyche and like like Hawkeye. It wasn't fully action packed, but the story between the dynamic between him. And the girl, and the girl, Kate Bishop, and the people who made his costume, and all those other people, the swordsmen. Everybody had, you know, besides the mom, everybody had an interesting character. Even Natasha's sister. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. We it's saw like, the mom coming a mile away. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I was like, you're the weakest character is the mom. 
<laughs> even, even the, the Russian mob dudes were more interesting. Yeah. The bro, wait, 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 wait. Don't say it like they were the show. <laughs> they were the show. Bro, no. both and, are and, and, the, Dragon and how, no, that, and how that great big ass, that big and ass how, arrow was the show. I was like, yo, that yeah. was incredible. That was incredible. Yeah. Yeah, how how no, yeah, how yeah. how comic book accurate they were? Oh yeah. The yeah. what is the 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 the, the tracksuit uh, mafia? Traffic, the tracksuit tra- mafia. Yeah. Oh, no, I bought her a marriage, uh, Imagine Dragon tickets for our anniversary. And oh, she goes, at least she don't have the seat. I love the Magic Dragon. She was like, yeah, that's your problem. You bought her Magic Dragon t- Imaginary Dragon tickets. I'm not a huge fan of Imaginary Dragons. I'm yeah. Not. <laughs> no. So, yo, I have, I have a, I have a hard crush on Haley Seinfeld or some, I have. Have you guys seen her like in her model pictures, like not as Kate Bishop? It, she is gorgeous. I'm gonna say no because I don't know how old she is, so I don't she's tend 20, to she's 26. Okay. It's good money. Trust me. No, I I have one rule. If I can't I have, tell the age, I don't fucking look at pictures. I, I <laughs> hear I you, I hear you. Oh my goodness. That, what picture you want to see? I mean, I don't know. Just they're all cute. She's cute, bro. Shit, hey, yo, she's oh, I'm, cute, I'm pointing bro. at the screen like you could see me. She's bottom cute, of the middle bro. with the red and the hair to the side. This oh one? boy, yeah. that's the she's cute, dog. I'm sorry, she's I don't a know, cute man. They look, they look like they look like she put on some weight for, for Hawkeye. She looks get like it red. thick, get yeah. yeah, get her thick. I want yeah, thick. Yeah. yeah, that's what I, I was I was thick. saying. She was she was thick. Thick. Hawkeye. She is so cute. She's I mean, 26. For... It's fine. Hey, see? Yeah, yeah. She ain't got no she ain't got no ass though, but no, no, she doesn't. She is so cute. Oh my god! Look, but that's how I like her. You see her with the mic. That's that's how I like her. Yeah, just regular. I don't need all that licking lips, all that shit. Nice. See the one up there with the pose. Go back up with the suit. This. Yeah, that one. I need her ready. Yeah, yeah. Be ready. <laughs> be ready. <laughs> you never know. Be ready. It's so funny. She's so cute. Yo, you know, speaking of shit that, you know, pie in the sky, I would love a fucking six episode run of Kate Bishop and uh, Yolanda, whatever. Yeah, the fuck yeah. Is. And Yelena. Yo, yeah. The they don't have to fight. They don't have to do nothing. Just them sitting in a room, six episodes, just talking shit the out. The chemistry, dude. Yo, the this, chemistry was incredible. This is this is how I want to. Yep. Okay. Be I ready. See. Be ready. <laughs> Be ready. <laughs> so look, that's the picture that I was referring to. She has like that oh. yellow number that she's eating the orange. Hold on, wait. She has Hold like on. a yellow. She got like a like a mustard yellow. Look at her eating the orange. With the it's all black hair. You just see her face. One, this. two, three, third row, second pick. Boom. Dude, fuck out of here. Nah, look yeah, at yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah. Make it Is make that, it five two. That's a grapefruit, by the way. I'm sorry. Nah, that looked like look an orange at... to me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> look at her. Oh, my God. Grape, grapefruits are fake oranges. She reminds me of somebody. Fuck grapefruits. Grapefruits are good for you, though. Oh, yeah, that's I what do, they say. I do enjoy grapefruit. <laughs> uh, I like a, a little gin and grapefruit. It's pretty good. Yo, you, Yo, know, you, put, you put some grapefruit in a cup. You throw out the cup, then you put I, ice in the cup and pour soda in it. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'm telling you, perfect. Grapefruit, grapefruit, and gin, not a bad drink. All right, are you are you done? So let her go. Yes, yes. I'm now, done. what do you want to see? What are you uh, worried well, about? I, and pie I, in I, the sky theory. Like I said, I want to see the uh, the interaction between the the two personalities at one point. Like they're recognizing each other, and it gets to the point where like, all right. I know what I need from you. You know what you need from me. So we can accomplish our goal at the end of the day. Uh, two, violence. This is Moon Knight. I've read the comics. I know the character. I know who can get ultra violent when he needs to. And I'm with Cap. I want to see how they push that rating. But I just want the fighting to be as accurate to the character. This is a man that is both a boxer and has been military trained. I want to see both of those things. You know what I'm saying? It could be like a almost like a kind of a daredevil thing, but with less kicks, more yeah. elbows, you know what I mean? Or like kind of like the Batman fought that every yeah. that some people had a problem with. 
Fucking yeah. I hate all of you. You know what I'm saying? This is this is close quarters of tactical. This individual is military trained and it was a boxer at one point in his life. Got it. You got to put that in there. Yeah. And then yeah. playing the sky theory, honestly, I really, really want to see Nightmare because it can lead to everything else. But Lilith would be fun just because no. Just so it could lead into like, the oh, Midnight Suns. You know, a lot of people would be like, yo, I don't know who she is. And it would lead to the Midnight Suns. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would be fun to lead to that on some like, well, you're going to need some. You don't have enough people. It's only you. All of a sudden he goes, I think I can find somebody. Give me some time. Right. Come up with a group. Yo, Lay, <laughs> would you would you agree with this statement that even with his boxing and his military, the fight scenes don't need to be polished? No, martial absolutely. arts. They need to just be brutal. I exactly. raw, raw. That's yeah, why. Man. That's why I want the the elbows and the knees. You know that it, one clip. I don't, see. Want, I don't want to see the raid. I don't want to see the raid because that's very fluent and talented. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see like a, like a very very knockdown like two like two MMA fighters that just went at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They literally looked at it and said, "Yo, this is the last ten minutes. Let's go." And you know, you know how sometimes they do that. They go. Yep. Throw caution to the wind. Fuck it. Let's throw hands. Stand right here in the pocket. Exactly. Yep. That dude, and and for the character Moon Knight, that's how he is. He'll take 18 and give 20. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, goes, yeah. In order to land a hit, I'll put myself in the line of range in order to win this fight. But I'm going to get hit, and I know this. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so I don't want it to be, you know, graceful like Daredevil. You know what I mean? I want it to be as ugly as possible. You know what I mean? And I want to see blood on that white. Because he doesn't it doesn't bother him to get blood on himself. Especially yeah. in the suit. I want to see blood on that suit with a white suit because he does wear it. And that would be dope. You know what I mean? So I need violence, nightmare, Lilith, and definitely the the record the recognition of each wrong. other's side. <laughs> oh uh, yes, yes, yo, pro. She is cute. Yeah. Yo, my pie in the sky theory. Is that any venom comes out and tries to attack him and goes, You're too fucked for me to to secure you. Because any venom's looking for that little piece of venom that's in the in the shit because any venom was created because of the paradox of the of the realms and venom not going back. And that's since Venom fine. still knows about uh, about Spider-Man, and boom, and then you see Spider-Man swinging and there goes Venom and any oh, Venom going after that motherfucker. That's pie, that's pie yeah. on the moon. Yeah, Yo, man. I just misunderstood the assignment. I thought you said pie in the sky. I didn't know you meant cake on the table. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's Holy pie shit. on the moon, bro. Listen, yeah. Listen, cap may have all the learning disabilities, Let's get crazy. but Let's get but crazy. I I have the cap limit. You know, limitation. There is no zero to hundred for me. It's a hundred and above. A hundred is yeah. where I rest. So you want pie in the sky? I'm giving yeah. you a million. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. I'm giving you. This is the guy that's going fast nine. So yeah, you I, know what I'm saying. No limitations like, to him. Like, like I'm on some. Let's dig up some dead bodies and bring them out. CGI yeah. the shit out of them. Have their skeletons there with their CGI face. Let's fucking get it popping. You know, I, we got the technology. We can make them stronger, better, faster. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's fucking do it. So, <laughs> I and you know what? That's what pie in the sky is. Every time I ask pie in the sky, I want you to make it as crazy as possible. Don't make it crazy, but in the realm of possibility. Like, make it as crazy as you want. Me, oh. I said, I, I said it already. <laughs> oh, you want to do it? You want to do another round? <laughs> Did I just open up the floodgates? Yeah. <laughs> no, go ahead, for, go ahead, go ahead. Forgive me. I, I, I was trying to keep it like yeah, maybe well, you, could it possibly yeah. happen. Hey, no, hey, no, no, my, yeah. my shit then, had reasoning. My shit had reasoning. You can write it in there. No, when I say yeah, again, pie in the sky could be as crazy as you want, but. Me, like I, I've touched on it. I, I really want to see how the cultist religion stuff plays here. I'm always very interested to see how a superhero tackles faith. I always think that's very interesting to me because these are vigilantes who do crazy shit. And, you know, they might be. So I, I hope they do something there. Cap made a good point as to why they might not, you know, go that route. But I would like to see that. And let's get nuts. Where? You you want you want you want, I'm sorry, you want I had a, no 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 you 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 want you want to <laughs> show us you want to show us the supernatural side of the MCU. Let's yeah. get nuts. Show me the vampires. 
Show me the werewolves. Let's MCU Underworld this shit. Yeah, yeah Blade. Absolutely, yeah. Maybe, Blade. maybe not as bad as... Relax, Cap. I already... Example. I, 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 I saw his eyes go. Wait, What's no. her name? Uh, Kate Beckinsale, I think yeah, is her name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love her. She was hot yeah. in that shit. She was but hot. It's just the movie sucked. The movies, all of them. The first one was okay. <laughs> the Lycan stuff was very you know, weird. You know who, but... Uh, the guy, the guy in the first one... The dude who she, who was like protecting the whatever yeah. his name but, is? F- Felic- the guy from Felicity is that that's was who he that in Felicity is? was he yeah. I don't know he he was in one that's of them shows is? yeah yo I was like yo if I would have been like yo if you don't shoot him I will we supposed to little, protect this dude he's the he missing a little douchey. he was a little I'll kill myself he is he was annoying a he was a little douchey it was it yeah. was almost he wasn't John Connor but he was like he was he, he got, was Joe he Connor a little bit if that movie would have went an hour longer. I would have put him right under. Cause that was a, that was remember that was at a time where movies capped at one forty five. <laughs> Way before the three hour, the only three hour movies you were seeing were like indie stuff. But anyways, yeah, like let's get crazy. Let's see the supernatural side. Let's see this. Let's get the vampires out there. Let's do that. Okay. Um, I, gotta- I want I want to see a good villain too. Like I as much as I love Captain America: Winter Soldier. I think the Flag Smashers fell a little short. I feel that U.S. Agent was good, but maybe he wasn't necessarily the main villain. Maybe the main villain of that entire show was what Captain was going through. Uh-huh. One division. Agatha well, is funny and cool. Go ahead. The, the the main villain was the government trying to get back. That's what together. I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, I know one division. Agatha was, you know. Loki yeah. really knocked it out of the park, in my opinion, with Kang. Although we just got a 45 minute monologue and didn't really see no action. So, yeah, no, I hear you. You're, you're right, bro. It's it's the truth. It's a whole monologue. Like, I w- wanted to see him get busy, but we'll see that later. Let's see yeah. a good villain. Let's hope Ethan Hawke holds up to that. I already said a pie in the sky, but let's amplify that pie in the sky a bit before before I go. Go ahead, Cap. No, I just want to say two things. One, the whole Kang or He Who Remains. Yeah. The one that's left. Yeah. The one that's left. I like I <laughs> like how he sure. portrayed him so much. Mm-hmm. And that's how I portrayed my my main villain when I ran my D campaign. Nice. No. Oh, cool. I, I just took whatever he did and that's how my villain acted. Nice. It's funny because you know, he, he, he did great. Did he did great. Bro. We just didn't see him get busy, but he did great. It was a great mm-hmm. monologue. Real quick, after you give your pie in the sky and we're done with night, uh, yeah, Moon okay. Knight, we're gonna discuss this little fucking deleted scene with the Joker. But go ahead, Cavs. Uh, well, I, I, I want to ask you a question before we really get into that. But go ahead. Yeah, but yeah go ahead. So, so I'm gonna uh, he uh, Cap wanted to say two things. The, okay. um, shit. Oh, the other thing about the villain, I want a villain. To where at some point you you have to legit turn around and go, fuck, I agree with what he's saying. Yes, that's what I mean. Like on some shit, like, you know what, Moon Knight? You're kind of a jerk, bro. Maybe you should lose this one. Maybe we'll see you later on. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Compelling villain. We like Kang was good, but I need someone menacing that's around the entire six episodes. Like we got Kingpin in Hawkeye, but he was referred to as the big guy, and we see him episode six, and boy, do we see him, though. Yeah, yeah. Right? Boy, do we see him. Let's get that for six episodes. Give me a compelling villain. One of Marvel's biggest weakness, we have seen that they can pull off a good villain, but in the grand scheme of phase one through four, I think we could all say that some of uh, we often get a more weak villain than not. They have that, done. They have done great with that the last couple of years. Yeah. Thanos and Loki, the only two legitimate villains you have in the MCU. Correct, in my opinion. So yeah. No. Well, well. Go ahead. No, no I was going to say uh, Shang Chi's father. Yeah. That's that's the villain I want. Where you don't even consider consider him a villain, because realistically, what did he want to do? Bring his family together. Yeah. Yeah. His wife. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He Everybody was get behind that. Good. At the end of the day, he's still the bad guy. But you're like, well, it's all a matter of perspective. Yeah. So, so I want, I want, I want to see some of that. Pie in the sky. I already said Blade. I'm gonna. But you can that. fire. 
You could go pie than that. We, we put can, Cool Whip can, on the pie. Let's, <laughs> let's put Cool Whip on the pie. Cool Whip on the pie would legit be we get we get up we get the Midnight Suns right here. Episode six. <laughs> <laughs> the Cool Whip. You know what's the great. Cool whip. You know what's great about. You know what's great about. You know what's great about like Cool Whip and like the the one that you like. You know the 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 square the aerosol one. one. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is like eating air. There's no yeah. sugar. There's no carbs. There's no you literally eating air. You could just pop that. There's no, look at the look yeah, at the nutrition yeah, facts. Yeah. There's nothing on that. There's nothing no. on that. That shit is you eating no. air. It's yeah. great. That's like that's like that's like keto number one right there. When one you carb and one fat. That's when it. you need some <laughs> when you need some sweet. You just anyways. So we're get let's let's get the midnight suns. Let's show John up in there. Let's get some uh, 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 Ghost Rider references in there. Let's see Doctor Strange. Put put some whipped cream on that shit and make a little sandwich. She. Mm. But you you bringing out food? I'm gonna bring out. I'm bringing out all the shit I got. <laughs> oh, I got the I got the cheeses right here. Hold on. Look. Let me see if I can make this happen. <laughs> Bam! I didn't even have to reach too far. I got the whole grain though. I got the whole grain though. So yeah, let's see count, some. And, and, and I know, and yeah, I know, <laughs> I know it won't happen. But let's see some. Let's see some real Midnight Sun yeah. shit. Let's see a real villain. Let's see. Let's see. And I really just want to see Blade, dog. But a good villain. Let's get a good villain. A compelling villain. And it looks like Ethan Hawke is setting up for this because we see him first episode. We see him immediately. So hopefully we could get a good villain out of him. Maybe he's a po- a, 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 a proxy for someone else, but let's get a good villain. Quick quick question. Please. Does Mr. Purple, um Purple Man fuck with Moon Knight? Killgrave? Killgrave? No. Yeah. We won't see we won't see Killgrave. Really. No. Because I mean, see. technically anybody could. But I'm well, saying yeah. that, like how crazy would it be if he's persuading one of the 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 fucking person split personalities. You put and- Kilgrave anywhere, I'm there. Yeah. You and put the Kilgrave anywhere. Like, well, uh, Kingpin took Kilgrave's power and started using it to be the mayor of New York, and now he wants to be the president of the United States. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but the crazy. thing about it is he figures out, not only can he put thoughts into you, but he can make, make you remember things. So it's a good, it's a good, it's a good little run. So I, I, I trust Kingpin as president. Yeah, right? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> yo, but, do yo, too. Lex Luthor did it, so why not? Yeah, fuck it. So, so about the Joker. Yeah, speaking I didn't like, of like, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't like the little they showed in the movie, and I don't like the deleted scene either. Me neither. I don't like the deleted scene either. I, 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 listen. Growing I'm up, glad they deleted it. Yeah, growing up, I only knew one Joker. White and face. that was that was the Mark Hamill Joker, the cartoon version. The white face. The and, one that puts yeah. human colored face paint yeah. to look human. Yes. yes. The one the one that legitimately doesn't give a shit about anything but Batman. Mm-hmm. When you when you when it comes down to it, he doesn't give a shit about anything but Batman. I'm like he's not a psychopath. Like he's not he's not a deranged fuck that like that you have to worry about them raping your plants. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in all honesty, how how much better would that scene have been? Batman gives him the files. He goes, oh, what do we have here? And he goes, amateur, amateur, amateur. This is pretty good. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. And just, he just yes. starts throwing shit around. Yes, instead and of making like, it so dramatic. Oh, I know exactly who this is. Who's this? It's you, Bats. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly you. You want attention from everyone. You got to get... Approval by the mayor and and Chief Gordon and all that this other been shit. Perfect, so oh you know my what I'm God. saying? Like, why does every bad guy have to be on the same level in the Batman yeah, movie? That's such a good you idea. You know, like he really doesn't give a shit. He's already in the jail. He's like, "Fuck it, you need my help with some shit." And he goes, "Oh, he outsmarted you. No one outsmarts the bats. What's wrong? With you? you know what I'm saying? Like yes. throwing throwing hits at bat that Batman yes. gets. And uh, one other thing, I have a very huge problem with. And I don't know if anybody caught it. Batman, for a millisecond, showed emotion. When the Joker was talking to him and he said he's the same as you or some shit, Batman's face changed for a little bit. Like, he ain't me. 
Batman never I don't shows know emotion. Was, I don't know if it was emotion or just him realizing his whole point of the movie that like, man, yeah, yeah. maybe I am fucking things but, up. But Batman never shows emotion. He's stoic. Even if he realized something, he just... Yeah. And then later on, like maybe he's right. But he's always straight stone cold. He's shown in emotion in, in, in Superman's in, face. He's shown emotion in the animated series. Whenever he's, those, the, whenever those, the shot, the, yeah. whenever those white eyes droop down, yeah, but that's when, supposed to be emotion. But it, like in the Justice League cartoons, all the other shit, somebody's talking to him. He's the one that's gonna make the hard decision. You're right, though. You're right. You're right. He, you're right. There's no the Joker is trying to get underneath the, the Batman skin. That's the game they're playing. The Batman's not gonna let him get any kind of victory over that. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of not a fan of the Joker overall in this whole thing. No, nah, I, I I'm don't. Just the, not. That's not the Joker to me. That wasn't the Riddler. But it was a good bad guy, but that wasn't the Riddler, and that's not the Joker. I'm okay with the Riddler. Joker was just maybe forced. I'm glad they deleted that scene. I'm yeah. glad they did. I'm glad. But I wasn't a fan. We'll see what happens next time. Maybe they take some... Uh, uh, there's a lot of people saying a lot of things about it, so maybe they take some cues. We'll see. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. What did what you, you guys got, think? What did you, what you, what you think, Leigh? I didn't see it. Oh, you haven't I seen saw the a picture scene? of it, and just like you know how on YouTube you like pass it over and it shows like yeah, yeah. A okay. like a little scene. I was like nothing about that interested me. Yeah, I didn't care for the scene. It looked like something. It looked like whatever, whatever I was thinking about or whatever I was expecting was going to be disappointing. So I was like, I'm not going to watch that. I was like, yeah, you know right. What? You know what? The movie was good to me to to the point. Even though it had like a false, false finish, it, like it threw me off, it threw us yeah. off. I was like, oh, it's not over. Okay, yeah, okay. We'll put your coat on. Wait, oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> sit down, sit um, down again. Sit down. Yeah, sit, sit Twenty down, more minutes. Down. Um, then, <laughs> then that, and I was like, like I'm, I'm with Cavs and all of you. I'm happy they deleted it, but I, I didn't see enough to care. Like I don't, and I don't want to yeah. be disappointed. You know, I thought good of the movie. I don't want to take anything back. Now, oh, yeah. Cap. Now, Cap. Tell us how much you liked it and make sense of it. I I have a big problem with it. It Toe has the perfect yeah, way. That was that really good, Toe. Went. Yeah, that was really good, Toe. My one problem is all of a sudden, every Joker has to be Heath Ledger. Yeah. They have to put man, that voice like... and that, that tone, that the cadence and the way he talks. And you know what your problem is? Like, that's. That's how Heath Ledger did it. Let's cool. not do some way. That's together. not how the f you don't all have to be the same. I think yeah. everybody's scared of going full Leto with it. You know, like RDJ said, you can't go full retard in Tropic Thunder. I think yeah. people don't want to go full Leto. But you, you, but can you don't do have to just do that either. Just a normal fucking voice. The only thing you have to do is a laugh. Is a laugh. A I, laugh I think we would have been okay with a normal voice. We would have been yeah. good with a normal voice. I mean, he's in jail. Like, you can make him kind of chill and just relax. But it doesn't have to be Tom Waits. It doesn't have to be Heath Ledger. I agree 100%. Yeah. I mean, that's that's my only problem is, <clears throat> one, I'm I'm sick and tired of the, the two things you must have in a Batman movie. You must mention that his parents fucking died in an alley. And you must have a dude with green hair and fucking face paint. You cannot make a fucking bat, excuse me, a Batman movie without those two things. I'm so fucking tired of it. Yeah, and and the, every the, other hero gets to make a movie without their main shit in it. Yeah, and and it, it, to be honest with you, none of these Jokers. Maybe Jack Nicholson is the closest to the Joker I grew up with, but the Joker's supposed to be a guy that you know is batshit crazy, and doesn't leave you alone. Like he's the <laughs> He's like, come on, have fun. And you're just like, yo, leave me the fuck alone. I know you got a bomb in your jacket. I don't want to blow up right now. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the weird, like he like in all honesty, I would have had more fun of a time if Jared Leto talked to Common. It's all oh, you like my girl pulled out a fish with a smile on it and smacked Common in the face. To <laughs> stop looking at my girl. And then threw the shit at the hyenas. You know? Like, because that's what the Joker would the Joker wouldn't give a fuck. He would think that shit was funny. You know, like beat, like like smack fucking Harley Quinn, like oh you this bitch boom. They don't give yo go go wait outside with the fucking mutts. 
You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, he yep. was a guy who legitimately does not give a fuck about anything. And and neck would kill you. And these guys are trying to be this psychological fucking per- The Joker is not psychological. That's what makes him scarier. Mm-hmm. He's not trying to get in Batman's mind. He's trying to do the dumbest shit he can to get Batman to kill him. Yo, that's the one thing that made Heath Ledger's Joker good. It wasn't his portrayal. It was his motivation. Like you said, he's a dog chasing the car. He's, he, doesn't, he doesn't know what to do with it if he caught the shit. Yeah. We're missing that aspect from yes. everybody else's fucking portrayal. Yeah. yeah. Agree? Yeah, like, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, you have historical documents on how this motherfucker is. Do you, Somebody use it, please. To be, to be fair, they were going for a whole different vibe. But even with a whole different vibe... You can't change Joker too much because even in a serious Batman comic, Joker was still nuts. He was still funny. Yeah. You can't tell me you're going for a different vibe when you're trying to imitate the voice of the guy who did it. True. Before, like, yeah. stop doing the fucking voice. But but the thing is this, though. Every, all right, this is the one thing about Batman movies that people don't understand. Like, if you're going to portray, like, the ghetto in a movie... You watch, I forgot the name of the fucking thing. Um, you watch any like ghetto, like any movie that has to do with the ghetto and people trying to make it out there. You have one dude that's serious as shit, another dude that doesn't give a fuck, that's crazy. The 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 guy, the guy who has the talent that doesn't use it, and the funny motherfucker. The vibe is all the same, but they fit in. Batman is a serious fucking dude that can't take a joke. Why can't we have someone that's the opposite of him fit in this place? Why yeah. does everybody need to be this serious fucking dude that can't take a joke? Everybody don't need to go for the Academy Award. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's yeah. it's it's like, yo, the Joker, I don't know if anybody caught the pun there, is a fucking clown. Yeah. He's the court jester. If the court jester is giving you fucking the, advice. The, the crown prince of Gotham. Yes, yes. Like, he should be on TV, like, gassing everybody, making them laugh, just controlling the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, he should be hiring people to kill people that no one knows who the fuck this is. Why the fuck you have a hit out on, on fucking Jackson Brown over there? Ah, he, he crossed the street on a yellow light. <laughs> you know, like, that can be in a serious movie. Yeah. You know, the, I hear you. You know it's like, just his, his compliment. Not or, everybody needs to be Batman. Yeah. Yeah. The complete you just opposite gave me of Batman. Inspiration. You just gave me an inspiration for a scene that I would like to see in a Batman. The, one of these grounded, gritty shits. Joker's holding a TV station hostage. He's gassing everybody. He's telling really, and really stupid fucking jokes. And as people are dropping dead, he looks at the camera and goes, I'm really knocking them dead. Yeah. They love me in here. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fucking Joker. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. That's the Joker, and the Riddler was a fuck. The, look, if you didn't see the Riddler in this movie, this is almost a perfect Riddler. But then when you see him in the Dominatrix mask and all the other shit, and he's cr- he's screaming, the it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like, no, oh, maybe no. I want the green suit. No. <laughs> no. Yo, nah. it, 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 I don't yo, want the green suit. No. It can be like fucking dark green, like so camo. in the Goth- in the Gotham show he had a dark green show and a hat, uh, a dark green suit and a hat. Just didn't have question marks all over it. But you know, at, let's say he's he, he's this is the beginning of the Riddler, right? Which which it was. He can grow into being someone that goes, I'm smarter than the bat, and let that what is it? Hubris, hubris, yes. hubris. Let that shit grow, and yeah. then he becomes more flamboyant. He's like. I outsmarted the bat, and he thinks he's untouchable now. And, and then he gets like, the green yeah. suit. He's like, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm the riddle of mother. I'm walking the streets. I'm the riddle of motherfucker. He's feeling yep. himself. Yep, because he outsmarted the bat. And that's how the shit would go. You have a cat burglar with cats. She's called Catwoman. She's a cat burglar. And she has cats drinking milk the and, like, pointy ears milk. and shit. You're letting this woman walk around with leather and looking like a cat with cats drinking milk, all that other shit. <laughs> But, but my man can't, can't have, have my man can't have the mask here. That, that's a good or, point. Or or you know, any kind of like 
intelligence other than, you know, Riddler's like, he, he looks like he's on the spectrum, like Kat was saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the clown can't make a joke. The the woman has to be spot on, but the clown can't make a joke and the Riddler can't be I outsmarted the bat. Because that was what his purpose was, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. He yeah, wanted to prove who was a better detective than the Batman. He was smarter overall. Yes. Yeah. So you could throw that in there. It's a three hour movie. We'll get the gist of it. You get give give us fifteen minutes. <laughs> we'll get the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you're right. I actually 100% agree, mm-hmm. especially with the Joker stuff. How you did the scene, like, ah, oh, hey, this guy's pretty good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's soup. That would have been beautiful. Yeah. His face was a little too disformed for me, too. Yeah. Well, I like, think, you got, I think you got, he's you got, still healing from the acid. From the acid, but like, man, he got like teeth growing out. It's like, shit. Yeah. Uh, no, apparently, from what I read from Matt Reeves, that he had a birth defect. What? He was he had a birth defect. That's a birth defect. That's not acid. That's what Matt Reeves. I, oh, that's what no, I read. In the in the scene, he mentions the the anniversary of what happened, Something and we all just happened. assumed that he was in the acid. No, but he, so yeah. he's also missing like patches of his hair and shit yeah. like that. This is what that I makes read. it even worse. Wrong. That's like, like the fucking not, bitch. Like he didn't. Not everybody does you know have an accident or whatever. This is like literally he was born that so way. So let, let's just let's just think about this. There is a possibility that you're telling me that Batman is now hunting people with birth defects, possibly on the spectrum. <laughs> Let me guess, Mr. Freeze has some sort of like anemia, and that's why he's always cold. Like, is he just are we going after he's hitting like, now? Has alopecia, the that's why he's called, like, disabled? The, we... the criminally uh, disabled, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that it? That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. That's what you guys can look it up. Like that was Matt Reeves. He, like he has the perfect excuse. He fell into a vat of some shit. Yeah. You don't yeah. need to add shit. Yeah. Hmm? And you know what? You know what I don't get. Like Harley Quinn is pretty much on point with this girl, and they put her in a Batman esque movie because you could you could have fit. You know, you did fit. Ben Affleck's Batman in in uh, the Suicide Squad, you know what I'm saying? That fit with all those personalities, even though the Joker was off. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if the Harley Quinn can be that, why can't you have someone that matches her? You know what I'm saying? And and don't give me this whole love shit. The Joker doesn't love Harley Quinn. He depends on her to do basic shit. And the when Joker she's not Batman around, the weirdest yeah, love I've ever seen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like. When she's not around, no one's gonna wash her clothes or feed the dogs or get you know shit straight. He, that's that's the mama. She's playing mama to him, basically. Yo, you know what I'm saying? It's even. I would even go as far to say as the Joker just turns around and goes, "Oh, you're you're still here. Okay, what yeah. else can we do with you? <laughs> Let's go somewhere. Let's go do something. Yeah. Yeah. But. The, not to say the Batman movie was good. I enjoyed yeah. it. It was the best yes. Batman. That we got, you know, with the detective shit and all the other stuff. But a, I'm just in saying, a while. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, the characters outside of Batman and Commissioner Gordon. That's why they deleted the scene, though. So <sighs> this is this is what I've heard so far. I've heard that they deleted the scene because it was it was a either made the movie too long. Yeah. Or B. They're not one hundred percent on how the Joker looks, so they didn't want to commit to what he looked like. Yeah, that's why he's in shadow in the little cameo, and then they can change it. That's probably why they released this, the deleted scene is to get feedback and to see what people yeah. like, what they don't like, and then oh, of course, course right. mm-hmm. I mean, I said I haven't seen it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because be. cause even the scene with the Riddler, he could have just been like, you know, it's going to make you feel better, right? What? When we kill the bat. That's it. That's all the Riddler wanted to do afterwards anyway, because he felt get, the bat betrayed him. Basically what you're saying, it doesn't matter how serious and dark this movie, the 
Clown Prince of Gotham needs to be the Clown Prince of Gotham. Yes, yes, 100%. yes. You can't make a you can't make a Dr. Martin Luther King movie with somebody playing him as Rambo. Yeah, we. I'm and, sorry. And, and let's not get Heath. Let's yeah. not get Heath. But let's not get Leto either. No, 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 no. Find no. a let's nice get, balance. Let's get the Joker. Let's you get know, the like, Joker. The, yeah. yeah it, watch, get, watch, get, Hamble, watch Hamble. Watch Hamble, Joaquin, and Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Watch yeah. George Romero. No, yeah, or whatever yeah. the fuck his name is. The, yeah. the dude that you, says, you, yo, that guy yeah. was a little nuts, but still, it was kind of cool. Joaquin wasn't <laughs> bad, but like once he killed the host, once he killed De Niro, yeah. then it's like, all right, here goes the Joker because yeah. Joker doesn't give a shit. Like I said, he was like, you know, you get what you fucking deserve, bow, and then just start shooting other motherfuckers because now he, he, it's almost like the the what was it the 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 first Joker, where the where they joke? the killing where well, the, where they showed the origin of the Joker, you know it's some shit like that. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, I forget what it's called, but yeah. Yeah, but you know, do that shit. Hmm? But all right, any final thoughts? Let's go, Moon Knight. That's yep. it. Tomorrow we get to see. Let's yep. go. Well, actually, Moon Knight. Now. Yeah, you can't see it now. Technically, I, I yeah. gotta. I'm gonna sleep yeah. and watch it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sleep and watch it. Like, good. Maybe I should watch it. Now. I'll probably watch it now. I Come can't. On, episode. I can't wait for the X Men to show up and go hunting because we we're doing pie in the sky. I can't wait for them to show up and stop fucking Squirrel Girl from changing the timeline. Oh man, mm-hmm. you damn it! I thought you were gonna like link Wolverine to like the vampires and Dracula yeah, and shit. You can. You can. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Midnight Suns. Originally, they weren't selling well. So what did they do? They brought Wolverine in. They brought Wolverine in. Fucking loves Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, they're Bring like, out bro, Hook. we need to take this healing factor blood so that we can start using that and become daywalkers and be untouchable. Yeah. It's Not actually pretty sick. Yeah. Not only that, people don't know. Animanium cuts everything, especially spirits. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably. slicing through everything. And uh, and uh, let's go Spider Ham, all the way. Yeah. Oh, you want a pie in the sky? I want some dude to turn around and go. This is Wolverine. Watch out for his claws. They take the souls of the people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know it's funny. The bone, <laughs> the bone claws can technically kill a vampire. Like, I mean, it's not a steak. It's not wood, but it's not metal either. Yo, like imagine, you know I mean? imagine he's growing growing out like tree trunks from yeah. his shit. Fucking staking <laughs> vampires. Fucking and shit. Groot. Get Groot in this fucking yeah, son. You want Groot and Blade. Funny? That's there goes a team up. When I was younger <laughs> and I heard that steaks kill vampires, I was like, so do you cook the steak first? Do they eat it? Is that where the garlic comes into play? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Did trick someone em. say steak? You tell him it, you tell him it's vegan steak. <laughs> Yeah, vegan steak. It's cauliflower. Mistake. That's funny. <laughs> Mistake. That is really funny. Yeah, um, some good deuce bigelow. There you go, guys. Oh, right, yeah. so I'm, I'm going to go watch Moon Knight. Sorry. Nah, yeah, no, no, yeah. And, and on that oh, note, everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out with another banger. We talk about everything in this fucking show. Hair for Peace. everyone. That's right.